the, everybody this shit, give me a solid yeah, if you're ready for this event. Like I'm talking about the best of the best in nature's head to head order commentating and casting it. This is gonna be some crazy Order, how many subs to put a tie on? All right, I'm not even gonna lie to you, don't laugh. I actually had a tie and I didn't know how to do it, so I didn't put it on. Now, everybody in the chat, this event is gonna be a very big PvP event. Prepare your anuses, prepare your popcorn, prepare your drinks, prepare everything you got right now. Just take a seat, and it's about to happen very soon. This is about to be absolutely insane. Oda, how many people are in the tournament? I believe there's 32 people in the tournament, brother. 32 people. And uh, the, the prize is 6.4 billion GP. Can I get a pog? Everybody in the chat gave me up. Oh, Oda, that is complete pog. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. Put me in. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, Salt. I'm not even lying to you as I say this. Like, let's just say that maybe if you started AHK and you could maybe get like third place, you know? Now, don't, do not use AHK, I do not tolerate that. We are actually checking everybody's desktop and their inventory in order for to see that nobody is cheating. So, for sure, nobody will be cheating uh, on this uh, on, on, on this tournament. We, we are double checking everything through Discord, through desktop. We are not gonna be like, yeah, yeah. we're not like you! We're better! We have to host our own tournaments nowadays in order for like this to happen for the brothers of RS, the sisters of RS, in order for it to enjoy because they do want they do not want to host PvP events anymore. So I'm forced to do it myself. So I'm hope I hopefully you guys enjoy my first tournament that I'm hosting. Um, I'll be doing more of these in the future. So uh, stay tuned, my brothers and sisters of the shit. So what's gonna happen is, are you guys ready? Give me a solid R in the chat when you guys are ready for the first fight. I believe it's gonna be. Let me see the bracket. Wiggled versus Bill Jetty. All right. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but I got you. Guys, it's going to be the, the first fight in the top left corner. I repeat, the first fight in the top left corner. Now give me a solid R in the chat when you're ready. It's about to happen very soon. Squinilius Squinton and Mr. Squinton. All right. I am ready. I am ready to witness who's going to be doing some crazy ass stuff. What? I am, I am ready to see the battle of the kings right now. These guys claim that they're number one. These guys claim that they're the best. These guys claim that they could beat any of nature. So we're going to see right here, right now, who is the very best. Who is the guy that goes, ball, baraga, ogias, fakey the ball, the claw. We're ready to see all that right here, right now. First contestant, I am ready to see what Lannister, the capabilities of this man, what the capabilities of Mr. Perm as well. I am ready, man. I am ready. It is happening. There's so many brothers missing. They started off the fight with a beautiful Baraga there. Whoever got ads, my ass and called me Squinty. We are going in. Beautiful Baraga there. Brother been under pressure. Going for the Baraga. Moves in. Take your on. He's going in for the bolt. Beautiful. Did I ask my brother Beltani there? This guy's in a, a 35 bolt there. A 37. A beautiful Baraga there. This guy is taking the fight home. He is not playing any games. Mr. Bojati is trying to take this home right now. Beautiful bolt. Uses protect melee. Goes in for another DDS. On his protect from mage. On the tank here. Oh, a beautiful DDS. My brother wiggled. Trying to make unpredictability happen. This guy's going for the Baraga here. Beautiful Baraga. This guy's going in for the bolt. Beautiful a bolt on his tank gear on with the protect mage on so it, it really could hit there it really could this guy's going for the braga beautiful braga cast by this man he really needed that to happen before wiggle tries to take momentum momentum is absolutely everything when it comes to an nh fight this guy's going for a bolt braga tank gear on braga tank gear on they they both know what they're doing this is absolutely beautiful i love seeing two great pkers fight at the best these guys are legitimately this is this is tears to my eyes a beautiful bolt by there another bolt wiggled running away then automatically cast a braga this guy puts black d on with a mystique bottom in order for Wiggle to splash. Gets that extra magic bonus possible. And oh my god, a 12-16. Oh my god, a 36-0 on Protect from Mage. Beautiful move by Brother Wiggle to try to take this fight home. Double Baraga and then automatically DD's under with a Blood Barrage. What is Wiggle going to do now? A, a 10 bolt. Uses Redemption. I'm not sure why he's using that. Um, he goes in. But okay, beautiful whip there. Both of them whipping. This guy's going to go. Beautiful whip. What a fakey by Mr. Bajari here. Another whip. Three whips in a row. Unpredictability is your best. Quickly, brothers. Quickly, brothers and sisters of the chat. Weapon. This is, this is beautiful right here. They both know what they're doing. They both know that they're two great people and they know what to do here. This is legitimately beautiful. I repeat, this is legitimately beautiful. Oh my God, D-Stat is running in. He's like, oh my God, what is happening? I'll tell you what's happening right here, right now. Under press is going in. Hits with the whip. They're both using protect from melee now. But, but oh my God, a 26 through protection from melee player. A nice bolt on off protect melee. A zero on mystique there with the whipper. A beautiful Baraga goes in for the DDS at 18 -0. 
zero for almost an AT backed both of them, specking on protect melee, hitting the same exact amount. All right, beautiful. Wiggled cats of Baraga. Try to, you know what I'm saying, get his HP up a bit, reevaluating what he's supposed to do here. Catches his HP, then goes for a bolt. Wiggled, going for another Baraga here. Beautiful Baraga. Bajeri, try, trying to catch a Baraga here in order to take control back to the fight. Cast an eight Baraga here, puts his tank gear on, goes for a bolt. Beautiful move by the Bajeri here. DDing under and making sure he could take back over the fight. Momentum is everything when it comes to NHing. Beautiful. Using his tank gear on in order to utilize what he has to do here. What is Bajeri going to do next? Whip. Beautiful whip there. Wiggled, just trying to, to hit him back as soon as he comes out of that DD because hits are everything when it comes to NHing as well. Okay, they both. Oh my, what a fakie of the mage and going back to the whipper. What a beautiful move by Bajari here. Wiggled, casting a Baraga, then a double Baraga. Oh, no, that was actually a blood Baraga. As you can see, it seems that Wiggled here is using a lot of blood Baragas, which means that he's getting more health, more hit points in order for him to win the match here. And that is very smart. People don't usually use blood Baraga because it's Cast it away from the from the ice barrage itself. Beautiful barrage as well. A nice 27 on protect from melee. A whipper on protect range. He goes with the DDS. Both of them DDSing. Beautiful move. This guy had protect melee on. This guy didn't. That was a very good move. This guy's half health with 94 HP left. Beautiful. A nine there. Beautiful. Can he go in with the baraga here? Can it, beautiful. Eating up. Trying to get back to the fight. That is absolutely a oh, 38 bolt. <laughs> that that is a game changer when it comes to NHing. When you hit something big like that, it automatically puts the other person onto the ropes, you know? <gasps> like this. And they don't know what to do because they're trying to eat and trying to cast the Braga in order to reevaluate the situation. Beautiful bolt by brother man, Bajari there, hitting on Protect Melee. Going, using his tank gear on, trying to, oh beautiful, another bolt, a 27 to Protect range, I believe. That is very lucky. This guy's using Kodai, this guy's using ACB. That's the plus ones that they chose to use. This guy's actually using climbing boots throughout the whole fight. This guy's actually using deep boots, if you haven't noticed. Wait, what? He's actually using a boot switch, I believe. Oh, no, no, he's taking them off. There's no way you're that good. <laughs> oh, my God, these guys are machines, man. Absolute units. I, I can't believe my eyes here. I, I legitimately cannot use my... What a beautiful boot takeoff. I bet the Lannister even confusing the commentator himself. There's no way you're that much of a machine. This guy, Lannister, catching a Baraga, double Baragging him. You know what I'm saying? Lannister trying to do all he can here in order to win the fight. I believe Bilger, he's on the ropes here. He's using Mystique, putting the tank gear back on, trying to get a bolt off him. Okay, goes. This is, uh, they're both pausing, not knowing what to do here. Varak skirt Baraga, and luckily, he does not get it. That is very, that, very rewarding, honestly, because if you mess up like that, that could cost you the fight. This guy's going in for the Baraga. Beautiful Baraga, flicking the the tank they're on going for the bolt on the mystique a beautiful 19 there mystique is like paper so as soon as you touch it with your pencil it automatically evaporates that's just the way it is sometimes this guy's trying to utilize redemption as he's using protect from me range or mage oh redemption last second baraga puts the protection player back on redemptions what a beautiful individual this guy a 40 bolt this guy is not quitting this guy is not quitting he's trying to win this fight it looks like this guy has what it takes in order to bring this fight back home this guy goes redemption last second. A zero. This guy bolts. This guy uses protect from mage. Redemption last second. This guy knows what he's doing here. This guy's an absolute unit. Redemption last second. This guy Baragas. Oh my god, they're both splashing. They're both on the ropes. Baraga, bolt. Oh my god, a zero there. These guys are very... Oh my, redemption? Oh my god, another redemption. My brother man Bajali there. This guy will not quit. Protect from melee. Oh my god, a zero. This is... This is... Oh my god. Goes, oh my... Change! This guy goes. Oh my god, the redemption. Oh! My soul! No way he did it! No way he did it! You're not that much of a machine! No, no! He catches him! He catches him! He dances! He goes in! Poof! Finish him some all off! No way! No way! What a machine, man! What a machine! Oh my god. That is, that is, that is one of the most hype fights I've ever seen. And, and guys, everybody in the chat, I, I, we will be showing the overlays and I'll, I'll, I will be explaining how lucky what an individual he is. Lannister, it seems that he got 642 damage dealt with 36 out of 95 correct prayers right. 38%. 27, he had 102% magic RNG, which is actually pretty good while he's, while he's using the code I want, which is expected. This guy, he 50% correct overheads right. 608 damage dealt. He only had 
Magic RNG. Can we get a round of applause for these two individuals? From what I've seen right now, I, it looks like this guy has what it takes to easily win the tournament. He utilized redemption there several times. He did DDS, yes, he did not panic, and he bolted him a 26 to finish it off. That was well deserved there. Can we get a round of applause for these, both of these individuals? That was absolutely beautiful. Ah, I, I, I couldn't take that, man. That was that was beautiful right there. That that was that was that was beautiful. The new fights are Beck versus Rakesy. Crypto's MIA, so we're putting him next. All right. So whoever whoever knows Rakesy, give me a solid king in the chat. You know what I'm saying? And now uh, I believe uh, that this guy Bex, a lot, a lot of people told me that this guy is actually a man to be zeared. So uh, personally, I've never, uh, this is my first time hearing about him. So uh, like, but like I said, guys, I didn't know about Bilgeti and look how much of a unit he is. He clutched around while he was down by about maybe three to four food and he only had 20 HP and used redemption in order to win that fight. This is the capabilities of these natures. This is what status they are. This is this is high level PKing, the best of the best, versing and battling each other. We are now in the fight right here, right now. Everybody in the chat, we are in ZL. I repeat, can we get a ZL for both of these individuals? Fat check starting off with a bolt with a 17 on protect mage. Going in, they are both going into the fight. A three Baraga going in right now. Oh my God, it looks a 36 bolt. That is what's needed in order to win this fight. Big bolts like that. Big Baragas and momentum. Freezes. A DD. A Cero there. Beautiful. A one Cero did an aspect on fat checks there. Order. No music. We will see about that in the towards. Oh my god! This fight looks like it's about to get. Oh my god! A Cero Cero on about 80 health. Not a chance really, but it looks like Beck did a lot of damage there in order for him to win this fight. All, all, whoever wins this next fight automatically goes and progresses to the next round. Whoever loses automatically gets kicked out of the tournament for a 6.4 billion prize pool. It looks like Beck has uh, more damage. A Cero Cero on Mystique on 60 HP. Very unlucky there. Beautiful move by Brother Beck. He's ACBing, putting the, they both, they're both doing boot takeoff switches. It looks like Check is going a big, uh, a bolt there by Brother Beck, a whipper, a bolt through protect range at 15. He needed that. Those, those are the hits you need, even if it is through protect melee or protect range, because that's what wins you the battles. So he's going in, he's trying to whip. Sadly, he's still frozen, goes for a bolt on Mystique, easily gets him off Protect. Very good move there, goes for a Baraga, 11 Baraga, goes for DDS, a 23-1 through Protect Melee on Tank. Yeah, that's very lucky by Brother Rakesy, very good RNG there, because that is not expected when you hit on Tank Gear on, plus Protect from Melee. A Cero Bolt there, it looks like one of them about a DDS, a Whipper, beautiful whip by Brother Beck there. He goes in for a Bolt on Mystique, a Cero Bolt, it looks like Rakesy's just trying to catch a Baraga here to get, gain momentum back. A Bolt, a 19 Bolt, okay, okay, it looks like Rakesy, okay, a what is a 41 ball? I already knew he was gonna hit because it was on Mystique. It was on non-protect range. You can't, you cannot use Mystique on those bolts. Look, you cannot use most, you gotta flick that tank gear on by the Rakesy. Fat Chicks has to start utilizing that tank gear on in order for those bolts not to hit him. Protect range tank gear on is what you need. A whipper, looks like Brother Beck is absolutely just, just doing what he has to do in order to win this fight. A bolt, a 0 0 on Tengiron, good protect melee, an Ahrim staff hit uh, by Brother Beck there. It looks like he's trying to catch a Baraga here. He's splashing a 13 staff bash by Brother Beck. It looks like Racy's just trying to catch a Baraga here, and he, unfortunately, he can't get it. He goes for a bolt, tries to go for a Baraga, splashes again. Beck catches a bolt, he does not. Oh, he got a blitz, he got a blitz. That's just what he needed. He's gonna go for the bolt, probably DD's right under, expected. Goes for a diagonal staff bash. Well, that's nice. Um, he's trying to go ahead, trying to take this fight home. It looks like Beck instantly got the freeze. A 15-0 to protect melee. He's just trying to win this battle. They're both individuals just on neck at neck with each other, just trying to see who has what it takes in order for them to advance. Now, it looks like they're both bolting, maging each other, just trying to win this battle. He's trying to catch a Baraga here, but sadly, Fat Checks cannot catch a Baraga. He finally catches a Baraga that he needed. He goes in for a bolt, most likely tries to DD. That is very expected. Whips, a Sarah on the whip there. And he goes in for the bolt. A Cero whip there on protect range. Goes in for the Baraga, and he sadly he splashes. Goes in for a DDS, a Cero Cero. The RNG is not there from Pat Checks, even through protect melee. An 8 through protect melee from Brother Beck. Tries to get your Baraga there, but sadly splashes. Brother Beck goes in for a bolt, then goes in for another bolt, faking the melee. He's going in. Brother Beck will not be showing any mercy towards this individual. He goes in for a whip on Mystique on Cero. He goes in for a Baraga. Fat Chex has finally caught one of the Baragas that he needed in order to win this match. He goes in. Momentum and Baragas is everything that you needed in an H fight. He goes in. 
He's bolting with Mystique top on. He has to, he has, he has to get those armors back on. At, at Reem Staff Bash of a 21. That is very lucky. My brother Beck there. He didn't even mean to do that. Fortunately, it's a 21 staff. Oh, a 28 whip through protect range. A 11 bolt through protect range. He goes in, fakes the mage, and goes for another bolt on Mystique. A 13. He goes in for another bolt. A Cerro. He goes in for a Baraga. Brother Beck here tries to catch a Baraga to refreeze him. But sadly, splashes bolts and goes an opal bolt. 11 there. Fat checks, fortunately, catching a Baraga there to put him back on his feet. Bolts a 32, which is very big for him. DDS is a 19-0, which is very big for him. Double DDS specs because he doesn't know what to do anymore. He's just trying to win this fight, trying to get the hits in in order for him to win. Goes in for a bolt on Mystique, a Cerro. That is very, very unfortunate for Brother Man. Fat checks that goes in for another bolt, a Cerro. Beck has 99 HP, unfrozen, trying to take this fight, trying to get a freeze. Automatically catches the Baraga on the first freeze there. Bolts on his Mystique, hits a 9, tries to whip, goes back for the bolt. And it automatically hits another 15 on protect range. Here go here goes neck and neck. It looks like Fat Checks is almost out of food or is out of food. And is now blood barraging his opponent in order for him to get back into the fight. Um, it looks like he's just bolting, trying to do what he gotta do, flicking his tanger on, trying to, you know, be unpredictable in order to kill his opponent. Hits a 15 baraga there, which is a blood baraga. Tries to barrage him, uses protect melee, and then dies to a DDS spec by Brother Beck. 2-1. Beck has taken home the NH. First tournament win. Congratulations, Brother Beck. After Mr. Bojati. That is amazing. The next fight that's about to happen is going to be Don Clitoris, aka Crypto, versus Kemp Q, the infamous RW. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Crypto versus Kemp Q, aka Sit versus Zos. Goes in, automatically gets a bolt off protect, off protect range. Goes in for another bolt, hits him off protect range again. Goes in. Baragas, they both cat. Oh, this guy splashed. This guy caught the Baraga. All right, goes in, goes in. Puts the tank gear on. Goes in for a bolt. Kemp going in for a Baraga and protect range. Splashes. Goes in for a Baraga himself. Splashes. They are both just splashing and splashing. It's legitimately a water park fest right now. Hits a 30 bolt on protect range, I believe, or protect mage. Hits a 17. Goes in, fake is the range and goes in for a DDS. Fake is the range and goes in for a Baraga. Does he catch it? He does catch it, but it sadly does not freeze him because he just got caught. Goes in for a bolt. Hits a 19. Goes in for the whip. Fake is the whip and then goes in for a bolt at the last second. Hits a 10 bolt. Goes in for a Baraga. Both of them are Baragging. Who's going to catch it? Automatically catches the Baraga by the sit while he has the Kodai wand, which makes him catch his more freezes, obviously. Looks like Brother Kemp Q cannot catch a freeze here. Automatically catches another Baraga. Oh, zero, 0 on Mystique there, which is very unlucky by Brother Kemp. Goes in for a bolt. Does he catch? Does he hit it? A 0 on Tengiron right now. Goes in for a bolt. Oh my god, another 0 on Protect from Melee. Can he cast it? Oh, oh, oh. He fakes the mage, goes in for the range, did he hit it? A zero. Goes in for the DDS, zero seven on Mystique. Does he, is he gonna hit the bolt on the protected? A nice bolt on Mystique there, off protect range as well. Whips him, a zero. He tries to go in for the Baraga with the Vedic Defender on. Does he catch it? He sadly, he splashes, goes in for a DDS. A six fourteen on Mystique, which is very, very nice. You always wanna go ahead and go use, utilize your specs when they usually have Mystique on, because you're most likely gonna hit. Goes in for a whip, fakes the range, and then actually bolts the next hit. Is he gonna mage? Is he gonna melee? We're gonna find out in the next Water Block live stream. Here it is. He's whipping. Zero. Okay. He's going. Oh my god. He says use Sanfu. He's trying to coach him into the fight. There's no way he's just trying to coach him. There's no way he's being that disrespectful to Crypto. There's legitimately no way he's telling him to use Sanfu to stop the pissing. There's no way he's talking mid-fight. is an absolute unit trying to make in front of the opponent. It looks like Kemp is just taking it easy. He knows that he got this in the bag. And is Crypto going to bring this back home and make him eat those Baragas? Let's see right here. Crypto hits a 13 Baraga. Goes in for a bolt and automatically hits a 1. Sadly, it was a proc but only hit a 1 there. He goes in for a bolt. Oh my god, a 40 whip on the Mystique. Fake used the range and goes in for a Baraga. Beautiful there. That was a very good move by Brother Kemp. If he got that Baraga, he would have gained absolute momentum over the fight. Here, Brother Sit is using, utilizing the code I want, trying to catch a Baraga. 0-0 zero, zero on Mystique there from Brother Kremp. He's whipping with a spear shield on by Brother Sit. He goes in for a Baraga, can't cast a Baraga, unfortunately. He's going in. A 41 whip by Brother Kemp. A 23 whip by Brother Kemp. What is this? Oh my, 19 bolt by Brother Kemp. Fake is the range and automatically goes in for the Baraga. Instantly catching the freeze there. He goes in, fake is the whip. Goes in for a bolt on the Mystique. A Cerro, sadly. That should have easily hit there. A Baraga on Mystique there. A 17. Automatically DD's on there. Looks like Crypto's just frozen in fear. He does not know what to do here. It looks like he's just sitting there and just taking the beating. Oh my god, man. Ah... Uh... Crypto really has to do something here. Is he's just gonna lose the battle? Is Crypto actually gonna win it? Crypto, oh my God, Crypto's gonna win it? Is he gonna hit a big? Oh, imagine if it was a 30-30. You never know. You never know. What if he hit a 30-30 here? 
Oh my god, Kemp automatically double eating, eating to 100, taking no risks there. Kemp Q just trying to bring the fight. Where is he, man? This guy's running to Syria. <clears throat> Let me zoom out a bit. He's going in, barraging. Kemp, barraging. Clip Curtis, barraging. <coughs> Excuse me. He's going in for the Baraga. Both going in for the Baragas instantly. It looks like he just got hit. 21 through protect. Another 26 bolt through protect. Crypto is getting kind of unlucky here. I'm not going to lie. Sit is getting very unlucky with these protection prayers. But a, ni a 19 on protect range with Baragas. It looks like he's just auto casting Baraga. Goes in for the bolt on protect mage and hits a zero. So, uh, at least at least Sit is utilizing his tank gear and trying to, trying to tank some hits here. Oh, a 42 bolt on Mystique. Goes in for the DDS to finish him off. A zero zero on 40 on Mystique there. And then automatically fake he's a bolt. Goes in for a 30 Baraga. Whips a 12 on about 40 HP there. And then he goes in for a bullet and hits a zero bullet. Crypto just trying to trying to breathe here. Trying to take his, his face out of the water. But it seems that he can't catch a freeze. And he's just trying to make something happen here. Automatically splashes. Tries to catch another freeze here. And he automatically catches it with a 9. He has protect range on. Crip, uh, my brother man Kemp go ahead and freezes. He got his a 10. This is, this is literally the battle of the battles, boys. It looks like we all know who has this in the bag right now. Judging from the fight, it looks like... Crypto is out of food or almost out of food, and it it does look like Crip, uh, Kemp is going to take this home. And he just finishes off with a Baraga and drops a good fight. <laughs> Brother Kemp winning 2-0 to Don Clitoris, a.k.a. Crypto. Sit had 92 ma 93 magic RNG, um, 267 ma damage dealt with 19 out of 55 correct players with 35%. And Kemp Q got double his percentage with 58 out of 82, 71%, which means Kemp did 25 more extra hits than him with 564 damage dealt and 82% magic RNG. You know what that means? That means Kemp Q got about 30 extra hits in an NH fight. And in all honesty, brothers and sisters of the shed, if you get extra hits in an NH fight, that can make you win. He got 30 extra hits. So imagine somebody bolting you an extra 27 times or whipping you 27 times extra. That's what Kemp Q just did. Because that's what momentum does. That's what DDing and maging does throughout the fight. So it looks like Westham is next. Westham versus a guy called Incredibles. Westham is a man to be feared, boys. So uh, this is going to be a very nice fight. All right, guys, we're starting. You know what I'm saying? We're going in. A 22 bolt. You know what I'm saying, boys? We're going in right now. He's whipping. He's going in right now. He's, he's, he's trying to catch a Baraga. It looks like Incredibles actually has him on the ropes right now. Actually having the momentum on his side. Goes in for the DDS. Does he go in or does he fake it? He fakes it and goes in for the Baraga but sadly splashes. Um, it looks like Incredibles got the DD here which put, which put him on the momentum. But actually Westham is holding his own. Getting all the hits he can throughout the DD which is very nice about him. So he's going to go whip a 2 on Mystique there. Very, very, very good move there. He's going in a bolt on zero on Mystique, which is very unlikely. You know, a very unlikely to hit a zero there, and he actually did. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta hit those players off protect. You gotta hit those things on Mystique. That's the way you win this battle. Um, you gotta get those DDS specs on Mystique. You gotta get those bolts on Mystiques. That's how you're gonna win. He goes in for the bolt. Oh my God, a zero on Mystique there. Very unlucky by Mr. Incredibles. Weston bolts him on Protect Mage. Sadly, doesn't hit it. Goes in for the Baraga by Mr. Incredibles. Weston fakies the Mage and goes for the bolt. It's a 23 on Protect Mage. Very good move by Brother Weston there. Um, uh, as you can see, it looks like Weston. Uh, this is clearly not Weston's ping. As you can see, the momentum stopped from the last world. Um, it looks like Mr. Incredibles is trying to catch more Baragas. Utilize what? Oh, I see what he did there. He was freezing him. Yeah, yeah. He he was freezing him with the whip, and uh, I don't know what he did. Sorry. Um. Anybody? He 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 went ahead and uh and he bolted. You know what I'm saying? He he whip spec. It is what it is. People make mistakes trying to freeze his opponent. Maybe maybe he's using 5,438 IQ. West emitting a 39 whip there, and then instantly catches a Baraga, fakes the whip, and then goes back to another Baraga. What a beautiful move by by the West emitting another Baraga. He's literally Baragging 20s back to back to back. Incredibles can't keep up, and he's just running away from him like a hungry lion. Well, Incredibles looks like a deer in this situation, and West is just a hungry lion like. Arf, arf, arf. Wait, that was a Zoggy. Forgive me. He's going in. He's bolting. He does not know what to do here. Mr. Incredibles is not utilizing his tank gear, and he has to go in and do that. He's going. He's barracking. He's going. <laughs> He's barracking. Well, Incredibles has to utilize that tank gear on, or nothing's going to happen. Okay, Incredibles is trying to, you know, he, he had a very good start of the fight, but it looks like Westham is just completely evaporating him with all these uh, precipitating Baragas and blood Baragas. It looks like he's bloodbending and avatar which is very nice i mean that, that's what you got to do to win this fight you think he's a oh a beautiful zero four dds on mystique there 
bolts right after it hits a zero on protect melee. Watch them flicks his tank gear on, then tries to catch a Baraga, but sadly splashes. Incredibles with the staff bash there. Incredibles trying to flick his tank gear on. Maybe he goes for the bolt and hits a zero. Incredibles, what are you going to do now? Bolt? No, a Baraga on protect range. Very good move by brother Incredibles there. But gets hit a 32 bolt on Mystique on protect mage. Is he going to cast here? Is he going to cast here? Incredibles goes in for the Baraga on protect range. Does he catch it? A 27, which is a very big hit. Watch them going for the DDS and hitting a zero zero while Incredibles double eats. Looks like Weston is just reevaluating the situation, DDing right under and utilizing that Baraga he once caught. This guy fake is a DDS and then goes for the Baraga, but took a bit too long in order to utilize that, which made Weston use Protect from Mage. Now we're going to go ahead, Incredibles are over here, trying to get a Baraga. Will he get a Baraga right here? Automatically hits a 30 Baraga, which is a very big hit for Mr. Incredibles, and then he bolts him. No, he doesn't. He actually goes back to a Baraga. And then Weston goes for a DDS off Protect Melee and sadly hits a 0-0. Zero, zero. 16 bolt on Protect Melee. Incredibles trying to take this home. Beautiful move by the Incredibles. Hits a 28 Baraga. He's going to go ahead and pet. Oh, a nice bolt there. Very good fakey by the Incredibles. Goes for a fakey DDS and then goes for a bolt. Protect Mage. Is he going to Baraga here? He, does he catch it? He does not catch it and he splashes. He catches another Baraga and hits a 7. We'll take that. Eat. Ooh. Ooh. You can't lose now after saying that, brother. You cannot lose now. You talk to your... You cannot... You cannot lose now, brother. You cannot lose now. You cannot be talking that type of energy if you lose it. You can't be losing the fight, brother. You cannot be losing the fight, Mr. Incredibles, brother. You have to win the fight now after talking that buckery. You told him to eat like a zogi. So you have to win now. You have to. Mr. Incredibles is very confident about this win. It looks like he knows that he's going to win this fight on his ping. It looks like he's very confident about that. So he's, 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 he's going to keep bolting, fake he's the range, and then he's going to go ahead and go for a blitz of the Baraga there, and then uh, go ahead, fake he's everything, and then bolts after three ticks, which is very, very weird. He could have gotten two hits in that time span, which is, which is not a good move at all. He has to utilize those ticks, utilize that tank gear, and utilize those hits. Incredibles bolting on Mystique. Very good move here by him. Westham catching a 31 Baraga, then 6 whipping, and then DDing right after. Looks like Westham hit a 26 whip on Protect Melee. Gets a th shoots a bolt and hits a 0. It looks like Incredibles is on the rope. And then uh, Westham is uh, West is just trying to put him back on the ropes as well. It looks like both of them are neck at neck trying to win this fight. It looks like he just hit a 13 through Protect Range. My brother man, Incredibles hitting a 0 bolt there. He's got another 0 bolt there. Incredibles, uh, you told him to eat. You can't lose this man. You... Uh, you're gonna sound like a barking zog with no bite. Don't lose. Yep. Choke under pressure. Good fight. But what happened to the E? What? It must be a glitch. Hey, redemptions. Maybe you can bring this back. But he's walking around aimlessly, waiting for somebody to give him a pile of change. Westham walks in front of him, disgraces him, and doesn't say a word. Westham has taken it home. Westham has took it home 2-0 against Mr. Incredibles. We are watching, I believe, 10-13 right now versus Hemid, And I believe that from what I got told from other people in this tournament that these two individuals are very good. Hamid is very good and 1013 is very good. ZL, ZL, this is 1013, Zaza Zips. This is Hamid. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, Bolt by Brother Hamid there, hitting a 21. Going for a whip, what a beautiful move there. Putting his tank gear on. 1013 automatically casts the Baraga, then whips right after on the DD. Beautiful, goes in for the Baraga, Hamid using Protect Mage. Goes in for a DDS, 10-13. Hamid actually hitting him off Protect on the Protect range there. Everybody in the chat, give me a zeal right now. This is going to be one of the best fights in the tournament. I believe these guys are both machines. Um, it looks like 10-13 uh, literally using a 0-0 DDS spec. Running all the way back and in in order for him to catch him off guard. 10-13 versus Hamid. 10-13 is Zaza Zips. Hamid is YHMAK. Y YMQ, excuse me. And now it looks like YMQ is going for the whip. Fakey's the mage, goes in for the DDS, and hits a 0-2 on Mystique. Fakey's the mage, goes in for the DDS, I believe, and hits a 10-0. 10-13 also specking and hit a 10-7. 10-13 trying to catch a Baraga here, but unfortunately can't catch it using a Kodai wand. And I believe Hamid is using an ACB. Hamid hitting a 0-bolt. Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? Are these the Battle of the Titans? A 21 whip through protection of the melee. No way. Hamid trying to catch a bolt here, hitting a three on protect range. Hamid faking the mage and then going for another bolt there. Hamid faking the mage and then actually going. Follow? Why, man? I can't follow him. Are you like, no, no, I can't.
I'm over here, I'm over there, I'm ripping. Sorry, sorry. There's a guy, a 30 ball, my brother turned 13 there. I do appreciate you, my brother, man. Oh my God, that, that is happening. That is, I think, honestly, in all, like, all seriousness right now, I think 10-13 is up a lot of food, if I'm not mistaken. Catches a Baraga, DD's right under, goes in for a DDS, a 0-0. Goes in for another Baraga, and catches a 3. Instantly freezes my brother man Hamid. Goes in for the whip, DD's right under. Fake is the mage, and I believe he's gonna go for a whip again, isn't he? What a read by brother Ola there. And he goes in, fake is the mage, goes in for the mage, and hits a 30 blood Baraga to regain his health. Not only that, but do a lot of damage on Brother Hamid as well. Fake is the mage, fake is the range, most likely going for a whip. Yep, yep, yep. 10 13 is putting him on the ropes there. And it's happening right now. It looks like a lot of rotten tomatoes are being thrown. And, and, and oh, a bull, a bull got just shot in 1013's chest on his mystique on no protect range. Goes in. Is he gonna do this? No, he bolts again. Fake is the mage and then goes to a whipper. 1013 automatically, knowing what he's gonna do, and whipped again as soon as he whipped him. These are the battles of the titans, my brothers and sisters. 1013 catching a Baraga, but this guy also catching a Baraga as well. Mr. YMH, YMQ also catching a Baraga. Goes in for another. Fake is the Baraga, goes for the bull. Puts his tank gear back on, utilizing everything he can in order to beat 1013. 1013 trying to catch a Baraga here. Takes off his D boots. Fake is the range. Fake is the mage. And automatically goes in for the Baraga with the D boot takeoff. Uh, my brother man Hamid going for the whip and hits a zero sadly. Pokes him with the DDS just to touch his chest. What a beautiful man that is. Being very generous to try to touch his chest, man. This guy catches a 32 bolt. A proc with a 16 with an old bull E. Those can win you the match right there, right here. This is this this is it, boys. Another poke trying to probably touch his pelvis. That is very good move by brother Hamid here. Here, trying to with the man's generals. That is very nice of him. All right, trying to go in for another bolt here on his mystique, but accidentally hits a zero, brother. And he's going in a 31 bolt by brother man 1013 there. He's going in, he's going, he's going. He goes in for a Baraga and automatically catches an 18 Baraga freeze. Goes in for another Baraga and protect the range. Fake is the range, fake is the mage. Goes in, what is he gonna do next? He goes in for another Baraga there and accidentally just splashes. It is what it is, sometimes you do splash, but 1013 has chose the code I want, so most likely he's, he's gonna be casting more Baragas than ranging. He goes in for another Baraga and hits a 24. He goes in, goes in for another Baraga and splashes sadly off protect from mage. Hamid hits an 18 whip while 1013 reads him and hits a 31 whip afterwards. Hamid fakes the melee and then goes in for the bull. Hamid using protect range and sadly gets caught by a freeze while he splashes and gets hit a 35 bull. Well, 1013 finish it off here. He's faking the range mage and then goes for a whipper. He's faking the range. What is he going to do next? He mages, but Hamid reads him and does protect mage. He DDSs him on protect range and Hamid sadly hits a 0 0. Hamid goes for a Baraga, but sadly he does not catch it and splashes. Hamid goes for another Baraga. 1013 DDSs a 0 0 on 25 HP. Hamid bolts. Hamid is just trying to hang on by this rope here. And then he goes for another bolt and it's a 39-28. Hamid is still in the game. He could still win this. He's faking the mage and then goes back to the range. Hamid, Hamid is just trying to do what he got to do in order to win this match. I mean, he needs a bit of luck and that's all that is needed to win this. Is he going to take this one home? Hamid is trying to Baraga here. He keeps he keeps faking the Baraga by accident and then just ranging and trying to get the, the momentum of the fight. Catches the Baraga. Goes in for the bolt. He goes in. He goes in. He's going. He's DDing. He goes in diagonal, does no damage, and just stands there like a prostitute, which is completely fine. Hamid is just trying to win this fight here. Redemptions. Sadly, did not get the redemption off, I believe. Oh, he did get it off. What a beautiful move by the ha Hamid there. Is he going to get finished? He does. By the 10 13, has taken this one home 2 0 to Hamid. Can we get a ZF in the chat? 10 13, got 36 out of 80 correct prayers right. No, he had 36 out of 80 prayers. Correct prayers on hit, with 595 damage dealt, 86% magic RNG. Hog, that means he hit him 36 out of 80 of the time, so 45% he hit him off prayer. But the YMQ, AK Hamid, hit 1013 34 out of 71 times off prayer, which is three more percent than 1013. Pretty good, brother. Even though you lost, that's very good. 1013 got nine extra hits on you, but. I mean, your percentages was a little bit better. Um, it, it seems that his magic RNG was absurd compared to 1013 though. And the damage dealt was 411. Round of applause to both of these individuals. They did very well. You know why 1013 won? He was drinking Juju. Everybody in the chat, excuse me, wait, Juju. He told me he bought, what was it? What did he buy again, Mo? Apple. He bought, he bought, he bought green apple. Everybody in the chat, Juju, Excavation Point, Juju in the chat. That's why he won, didn't he? He bought my shirt as well. Excavation Point shirt in the chat, brothers. It looks like the next fight is Panic 07 versus Jason. I repeat, Panic 07 versus Jason. And it looks like Panic 07 is any primers, 7L, 7L.
All right, guys, they're in. Give them a ZL. Here we go, boys. They're starting off. Panic is following him, and then automatically gets a whip off. Protect melee. That's a very good move by the Panic there. He's going in. Both of these brothers are going in right now. It looks like... Uh... Oh, it looks like this... This guy, this guy is doing fairly well from the start of the start of the from bad ping. Seven L looks like he's trying to win here. Um, he's he's utilizing that DD, getting bullets off protect. It looks like Panic just got him on DD as well, and Seven L did not hit him there, which is bad. And he did not hit him again, so that's two free hits that Panic just received. Three free hits now. Is that going to be a fourth? Four free hits now, and then finally catches him on the freeze there. Seven L finally caught him. And then uh, it looks like Panic is uh, just using fakies. Both of them are using fakies, utilizing that tank gear as much as possible. Got a bull off protect there, but sadly hit a zero. Another bull, but hits a zero as well. It looks like uh, Panic is just trying to whip him here while this guy DDSs and they both all hit zeros. And uh, this guy goes for a bull while Panic DDSs a zero 23. Both of them try to barrage, and it looks like Panic is the one that came out on top with that freeze. And uh, this guy refroze him as well. Put Protect Melee on, got a bull, and then triple, and then double A, which is honestly a very good move. I would have done the same. Um, putting his HP back up, casting that Baraga. You always got to be flicking that tank gear on, or you, you're gonna get you're gonna get hit a lot, and you got to utilize every little item that you have in your inventory. Um, this guy goes ahead, tries to catch another freeze. Panic hits a 17, 18 DDS on Mystique. Very good move by him, and then bolts and fakies the mage, and then tries to DDS again, but sadly gets caught. And uh, he gets a freeze on top, tries to bolt, fakies the range, and then goes for the Baraga. Panic goes in for another Baraga there, and then sadly does not catch it. This guy goes for a Blitz and hits a 12 to protect Mage, which is very good. He needs those extra hits in order for him to beat him. Um, it looks like they're like neck at neck, even Steven, leaving Deven, you know what I'm saying? He goes and tries to catch a Baraga here, catches at the Baraga, but sadly did not freeze him. And hits an 11, and actually caught the Baraga on the next one, which is very useful for him. And DD's right on their Panic 07. It looks like he just rucked up and hit a one whip on Protect Melee, but hit a 37 bolt. Tries to DDS and it's a 0-0 zero, zero on Protect Mage on the very exact tick, which is a very good move by Mr. 7L. And then bolts, tries to bolt again and hits a 21. It looks like he's really utilizing every single tick and hit that he can and trying to get the best of it as a bit of ease. Um, he goes in for a whip, very good move there, very unexpected. Goes for another whip on Protect Mage, but sadly did not hit. He goes in, tries to get a Baraga in, but sadly splashes and gets hit a 0 27 DDS on Mystique. Splashes another Baraga. Does he catch the next Baraga? Sadly, he doesn't. Can he catch the next one? Sadly, he doesn't. He has splashed six times in a row. They both looks like they're just splashing. He decides not to Baraga anymore and gets an 18 bolt. And uh, he's just trying to freeze panic here and just can't seem to catch a freeze. You gotta, you gotta remember he's on bad pings, so he has to time it on the exact same tick. He splashed another Baraga that's nine splashes in a row, I believe, and finally caught one on the 10th. And uh, tries to catch another Baraga here, and it's a 15 on Protect Melee, which is very good. Cat tries to get another Baraga, tries to hit him off Protect, trying to be unpredictable. Hits a one whip to Panic's 12. A zero there. He really needs to hit those in order for him to win the battle. Um, it looks like 7L is just trying to, trying to just bring this fight back. It looks like they're both maybe close, or maybe one is up by maybe a few food. Tries to bolt, run away, maybe tries to get a Baraga here. If he catches it, this could be big for him. Whoever catches the next Baraga is huge. No. No way you staff bashed. All right, well, uh, looks like he staff bashed, but instantly froze him right after, which is very useful because you got to keep your opponent in front of you. You can't be dd -ing. Um, He's going to go ahead and try to whip here. He's trying to make this fight into his. Both of these guys are neck at neck each other. Tries to bolt him and hits a 10. That will we'll take those. Oh, a 38 whip. That will change the course of this fight because that is momentum right there. If you have momentum in an H fight, you automatically... Oh, a 23, all right. Maybe bringing it back. Oh, a zero whip on Mystique. Very unlucky. Maybe he's just going to go ahead and catch a Baraga here and hit a 22. Go ahead and catch another Baraga. Is he going to DDS here? He is, and he hits a 0, 19 on Protect Melee on Mystique. Another DDS, 0, 0, which is very unfortunate. Goes sideways and tries to bolt him and hits a 0 as well. Maybe most likely going to... He goes and catches a Baraga, 13. Panic is unfrozen here. Well, most likely going to probably go for a whip hit or something. Um, oh my god, they're both trying to run away, trying to catch a freeze here. Panic, does he catch a freeze? He does. Panic goes and catches a freeze. DD's right on their opponent, reevaluating the situation, eating to full HP so he could be on top. Okay, Panic got hit a 13 there, splashed. Maybe tries whipping him and hits a 14 on Protect Mage. Goes and tries to catch a Baraga. It's a 31 Baraga. That is huge for Mr. Primers. And uh, it looks like he's whipping. 7ZL seven, seven looks like he still had food left. Eats to full HP, but can't seem to catch a Baraga here. Looks like those freezes are really killing him. Another, another, oh, a 16 there. He really needed to catch a freeze there and finally did. 
It looks like Panic just hit him off Protect, but sadly hit a zero. Another Bolt, a zero as well. Fake he's the Mage. Hits him on Mystique. Does he hit it? A 19 on Mystique there. Beautiful move by the 7 AL there. Is he going to go ahead and catch another Bolt? Another Bolt on, on Mystique there, but sadly hits a zero. A Baraga. He's going in for the Baraga. He goes in for the Blood Baraga. He hits a zero. An Insta Freeze by Mr. 7L. Primers catches an Insta Freeze as well and goes for another Baraga there. Mr. 7L has to get this fight on top. He has to do something here in order for make it his. It looks like he's out of food. He has to do something. Does he catch the Baraga? He does not. He does not. He has to catch the Baraga here or he's done for. It looks like this is going to be the end of Mr. 7L. And Panic07 wraps it up 2-0. Good fight, fam, he says. It looks like uh, Panic hit him 42 out of 88 times, which is 48%. So he, he did, uh, Panic did, uh, I believe, better than him to disguise 42%. And Panic did 598 damage dealt to his 411 damage dealt. And it looks like Panic caught more phases than him. And, uh, you know, that's unfortunate, but it looks like uh, Panic hit you more times and got more correct players right, which means uh, he went ahead and took that home. Um, the next fight is going to be Hamzawi versus Golf. Are you guys ready for that? I repeat. This is the bracket right now. It's going to be Hamzawi versus Golf. All right. The names are going to be Cringe. This guy has the name called Cringe. Isn't that cool? Cringe! Cringe and Ghetto Quran. Astaghfirullahaladzim. What kind of name is that? What kind of... May, uh, may God help you, brother. What is Ghetto Quran? Alright, we're, we're starting. Everybody in the chat is ZL. Here we guys go, boys. Alright, boys. Here we go. Right here, right now. It looks like... Hamzawi is the first one to catch a freeze this fight. Okay, boys, here it, here, here it goes. This this literally relies on everything. They both just caught the freeze. Hamzawi's whipping. He's whipping as well. It looks like Hamzawi's down by two food already. And uh, it looks like this guy's trying to DDS. Fakies and then goes back to the DDS and hits a 0-14. Hamzawi catches a 9 Baraga. You know, you need every hit you get a 2 right there. And um, it looks like Hamzawi is just trying to do what he has to do in order to catch a freeze here. Golf is just trying to keep his distance, trying to catch a freeze so he could DD right under. Hamzawi utilizes a whip hit there, which is very good. As you guys can see, Hamzawi really utilizes his whip every single fight and uh, does what he can. And then he went diagonal, so he can't hit him with the whip. See how we read that? He saw that Golf was whipping, so he went diagonal, so he can't get hit with the whip. Barags and then DD's right under. Hamzawi really has a lot of momentum right now. DDS is a 0 0 on Mystique. DDS is a 616. Is he gonna DDS again? And though he catches a Baraga and Golf is really on the ropes here. And he, oh, a 0 0 on 50 HP on Mystique, which could have been easily the KO there. And it looks like Hamzawi is, uh, you know, doing what he has to do. He, he really, like, turned the fight around here. Golf trying to DDS, seeing what he could do here. And he staff bashed once again and he's trying to touch his genitals. And uh, we're not gonna let that happen. Um, it looks like Hamzawi actually caught a Baraga there, which is very nice. Hamzawi hitting him with the Whipper, tries to throw a bolt, fakies the bolt, then goes back to the Whipper. What a beautiful move by Mr. Hamzawi there. And um, that is uh, that is very good there. That is very good. It looks like uh, Mr. Golf is, uh, is throwing a bolt there. Is he going to cast a Baraga? He is. He's going to cast a Baraga. Is he going to... Oh, oh, and he got a freeze there. That's very needed. And he DDSs a 0-0 zero, zero right there. And it looks like Mr. Uh, Golf, I mean, yes, Golf... Is on the ropes right now still into the this late and early into the fight and it looks like uh, he's gonna really need to do something in order to put Hamzawi back onto the ropes a 721 DDS which is very crucial back to the whip while he faked the mage a 38 bolt which turned this fight around completely which made Hamzawi go and made him go back down like uh, I don't understand it that was that was very crucial right there and made Hamzawi DD and reevaluate what he has to do make him eat up and go back into the fight because you have to utilize that DD in order for you not to get rucked straight like this and it seems that Mr. Hamzawi is hitting zero whips trying to do what he has to do here whipping he's probably gonna bolt on the next hit here he has to do something oh another whip hit all right that's very unpredictable on it another whip hit you guys see how unpredictable this guy is he's whipping as much as he can in order for him to win this fight and it looks like he's going to try to throw a bolt here. Is he going to throw it? No, he cast a Baraga. Sadly, it does not work, and he, he splashes. Is he going to cast a Baraga here as well? He tries to whip him, but sadly, it does not work either because Golf went diagonal. Uh, Golf tried whipping him there. Hamzawi actually cast a freeze, and it's a one. He tries to DDS. Fake, he's a DDS, and throws a bolt, and DDs right under. What is he going to do next? 
Amzawi tries to catch a Baraga and gets hit a zero whip on Mystique on Protect Mage, which is very lucky. A, a eight whip on Mystique on Protect Mage as well. A seven Baraga throws the tank gear back on, tries to DDS here, and hits a zero zero on tank gear on no protected melee. He throws a Baraga, hits a seven. That is absolutely amazing. Throws another Baraga on Golf and instantly catches him. And he's going to go ahead and throw another Baraga here, but splashes. Looks like they're both frozen. They're both keeping distance with one another. And it's, it's, it's really the battle on who hits each other on on off players who who has better unpredictability who has right there that's a beautiful hit and that's a big bolt right there so he's going to throw a blitz before he starts brewing and it looks like golf is trying to catch a freeze here hamzawi has black d high top on throws a whip and sadly hits a zero hamzawi's going to try to catch a freeze here and automatically catches a 12 there and that's what it's needed and uh, he tries to throw another baraga but sadly does not catch it but golf does and uh, it looks like he's going to dds and it looks like these two opponents are literally neck at neck it could be anybody's game a 31 bolt and he throws another Baraga, a 37 whip and a 10 Baraga. This is, oh, a 20 whip. Golf has this, did three whip hits in a row and it worked out every single, a 31 bolt. He took off his armor, he's trolling. Oh my God. No, no. Say, what would you just took off your armor mid fight? No, oh, he's, he's teasing Golf. He's making in front of him. He's legitimately making in front of Golf right now. He literally just took off his armor twice into the fight saying you're zoggy shit. You hear that, Golf? He's making in front of you. He took off his armor twice into the fight. Maybe he should have not done that. Make him regret those actions. Take him out of the tournament right now. If you win this round, Hamzami will be out of the tournament. But do not. Make him eat those words, Golf. Make him eat him right now. Maybe you can make him, because he would troll you. He, he tried playing around with you. He made it in front of you in front of the whole stream. Maybe you can make him eat those words and make him lose the fight right now, Golf. Make him lose. Hamzawi played around and took off his armor twice during the fight. Played around with Mr. Golf. And I, I think you should not play around with a man like that. Because Golf is a man to be feared. And he could easily win this fight, in my opinion. Um, redemption is there. Maybe he has a few food left and he could still easily win this fight. A 20 0 DDS. Golf really needed to tank that. Golf hits a 0 0 on about 90 HP. Hamzawi cast a Baraga on 15. Is Golf going to hit a whip, a zero on Mystique there, which is very unlucky. Does he cast a bolt? Does he cast a Baraga? He cast a 13 bolt, and it looks like Hamzawi is just going to end it here. And Hamzawi has ended. Good fight, Habibi. Heart only love. Can we get some hearts in the chat for these both of these two contestants? It looks like Hamzawi has took it home. Mr. Hamzawi, the guy that just took it home, hit him 35 out of 87 times off prayer. Only 40% and 597 damage dealt with 87% magic RNG. And it looks like Mr. Golf hit him 43 out of 83 times with 52% and only 61% magic RNG. Maybe if Golf's RNG was a bit differently, that could have went different. But A, RNG is part of the game and good fight to both individuals. And uh, it is what it is. So it looks like Oh my god, what, what fight you guys want to see? Uh, I'll listen to the chat right now. Maybe the higher council will listen. Dizzy versus Panic. All right, boys, this is what's going to happen. Um, while the higher council takes you guys' advice, the higher council literally was watching the chat, and um, it, from what I got told, they said the first fight is going to be Chem Q versus Boljati. They are going in order, and um, that's the first fight that's going to be. Chem Q versus Bajari. And but you guys saw the capabilities of Bajari. And you guys saw what Chem Q has done to Crypto. And you guys saw what Bajari has done to Wiggle. This is going to be a very good fight. A very, very good fight. All right, everybody in the chat. It looks like they started without me. Which means uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just type ZL. It looks like uh, from what DStat told me, they started without no regard. So uh, I will be just turning Attenity Hider on real quick. Camera detached here we go you guys gotta be more professional about this boys all right here we guys go boys i i oh my god bajari hitting a 42 whip right off from the bat this is from what i'm seeing right now I don't, oh my god oh my god bro chem Q's rng is something else man a 73 dds spec man a 73 dds spec bro chem Q ddng as soon as he hits a 73 and just ddng right under bro and bajari is just is just trying to hold his own bro Oh my god, man. That is abs that is that is the second biggest spec. He hit the first and the second biggest spec right now. And and Kemp Q is just trying to take this home right now. It looks like Kemp just hit a 78 did I, I believe a 73 DDS spec on Bojari. And Bojari is just trying to take this home. And it, it, it seems that what?
What? They left CC. Bro, the Bajari left C Bro, you guys left CC. What? Alright, I got they both left, so I guess like one of them was Chai Chi, and then the other one tried cheating as well. And I guess like we'll just count it, I guess. Alright, this is what's gonna hit Penny's going in for the Alright guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Judging from that 73 DDS pack, it does look like ChemQ has him on the ropes. And it looks like Bajari's just gonna try to catch a Baraga here in order for ChemQ to be in front of him. And he does manage to catch that Baraga. Uh, Bajari hits a 19 whip there. What is he gonna do next? He throws a bolt while ChemQ throws a bolt. Bajari's gonna try to catch a Baraga here, isn't he? No, he whips again. And it looks like uh, he's gonna try to catch a Baraga. Oh, a Blood Baraga. That's very useful. In these type of fights, that is very useful. Because not only it does gain your HP, but it does make you. It does do damage to the opponent. And he's gonna try to catch a Baraga here, but sadly, they are both splashing. Who's gonna catch the Baraga first? It's the Battle of the Baragas. He DDS's ChemQ and hits a 33-0 on mystique and then he does a one proc bolt on mystique as well which is very unlikely bajari should have done more damage there but he does manage to catch that baraga which managing to get momentum over the fight it looks like bajari has complete control over the fight right now but chemq does manage to catch a baraga there but my band bajari does catch another blood baraga to get that more hp and it looks like chemq just trying to catch a baraga here faking the melee and it uh, looks like both of them are neck at neck with each other, having a dragon zagger to both of their necks. And it looks like Bajari is just trying to catch a freezer. Will he catch this freeze? He will not. And it looks like, okay, the freeze is going. Will he catch it? He does catch the freeze and he does double Baragas. And he catches both of the Baragas there. Does he catch this one as well? He splashes. Is ChemQ out of food? He is out of food. Everybody in the chat, I repeat. ChemQ is out of food. Bojari has, has done it, boys. He can end it right here, right now and take ChemQ out of the tournament. All he has to do is hit about 20 damage, and ChemQ is out of the tournament right now. And he does finish him off with a 31-8 DDS. Bojari has taken it home. Bojari, 2-1 on ChemQ, kicking ChemQ out of the tournament. Can I get a Pog in the chat? Can I get a ZF? Brother Bojari got 24, I mean 29 out of 44% right on hitting ChemQ. So he hit him 66% of the time on the right prayers with 451 damage dealt, and 86% mag magic RNG. And it looks like ChemQ did slightly less better with 62%. And it could have been anybody's game with 88% magic RNG. And uh, it just, it could have been anybody's game, but it looks like uh, Bojari went ahead and took it home. All right, it looks like the next fight is going to be West Ham versus Abu. Are you guys ready? West Ham versus Abu. And I believe Abu is one of the best in natures as well. So uh, this is going to be very good. Abu is very fucking good. Like very, very good. All right, they're, they're in, boys. We're, we're, we're here. We're watching. It is happening right now. West Ham versus Abu. Can I get a ZL for both of these individuals? These are men and women to be fucking feared. Now, it's happening. Abu manages to get the first Baraga, but West Ham comes in and catches a Baraga himself. They are both bolting. Let's, let's minus the... All right, we're going here. They're both using code I want, so they're, they're most likely going to be freezing more than ranging. And that's what you got to do. And it, it looks like Abu's hitting him off protect most of the time. And Westham is trying to do the best of his abilities to do the same. And it looks like he tried DDSing, but Westham has ran away. And is Abu going to cast a Baraga here? He does manage to cast it. But he runs out of range, which makes Westham become unfrozen here. And it looks like they both casted it. And Abu's going to try to cast another Baraga. It looks like they're both neck at neck right now. Doing what they, whatever they have to do in order to lower each other's food. Oh, Abu gets a 24 bolt on Protect Mage. And tosses another bolt on Protect Mage there. And West Ham had, did not change his overhead twice in a row there. And it looks like uh, Abu is winning by slightly a few food here. And uh, and he, he's doing, he's bolting. He's just not, oh, DDS right there. And uh, oh man, that's unlucky. It looks like West Ham hit a 0-7 on Protect Melee while Abu hit a 0-0 on no Protect Melee. Which is unfortunate, but that's RNG for you. Now this is what, that, that, that is happening right here, right now, the RNZ. Who's going to cast the first Baraga in order for to get to momentum? West Ham cast two Baragas back to back. DDS is, and Diddy is right under. That is a beautiful move. West Ham whooping him on his mystique there. And then he ca they both cast a bullet. One of them hits a 9, the other hits a 0. The question is, who's gonna go? Okay, is he gonna cast the Baraga? Abu needs this Baraga here. He does not manage to get it. Is Abu gonna cast this Baraga here? He does manage to get it, but Hitka hits a 24 bolt. And it looks like West Ham managed to get the Baraga as well here. It's Abu versus West Ham. This could be anybody's game. These are very high level in natures right now. A 20 bolt through Protect Melee. He's gonna bolt again and he's gonna fake you the mage. And he goes for the mage. What a beautiful one tick major there. That was actually beautiful, man. That was a very good move in order for him to catch that Baraga there. And he manages to catch another one. And, he's, and, and he catches another one here and hits a 26 and refeeds his West Ham. And casts another one and hits a 30. 
a 31 Baraga, confusing Westam and hits another DDS spec. While well, Westam is trying to catch a, a, a freeze here, while well, Abu has complete momentum over the fight. Is he going to catch the Baraga here? And he does manage to hit a 20 through Protect Mage. Is Westam going to catch his? He does manage to catch it and hit a 23-0-0 DDS spec, which could have done some very big damage if I actually hit something decent. Abu trying to get a DDS spec here. Now trying to mage him. Does he catch the Baraga? He does not. He splashes. Oh my god, another another mage hit. Another mage hit. You guys, oh my god, this guy just water baragging, blood baragging, ice baragging. Call this guy Katara. That is absolutely insane, man. They are they are literally focused on on just freezing and DDing and, and doing whatever, whatever they gotta do in order for them to, to, to win this fight here. And it is what it is right now. And uh, the, okay, he goes and catches another 30 Baraga here. Abu is solely relying on his Baragas here. And then, and whenever he sees West Ham camping Protect Mage, he's just going to camp Bolts, as you guys can see right there. And he's utilizing anything he can in order to win this fight and being unpredictable as possible. And that is a very nice bolt on Protect Mage there. And he's being very... Look, look at that. Eight Bolts in a row. And he's getting West Ham off Protect because it's so unpredictable. A 25 Blitz right there. And it looks like... Uh, it looks like a 7 proc right there. West Ham is going to try to cast his Baraga, but sadly does not catch it. But Abu does, and he, and he does a double Baraga there. And uh, and it looks like he's going to bolt on the Mystique, but sadly hits a 0. And is he going to bolt again? He does bolt again. And uh, it looks like he's going to keep bolting and bolting. And um, he's, he's a... Oh my god, West Ham throws out a whip there, and then Abu tries to DDS, and it's a 0-0 zero, zero on about 50 health right there. And Abu's going to try to mage him. Does he catch the freeze here? He does manage to catch the freeze, and it's a 16 through Protect from Mage. He's going to keep baragging, and uh, it looks like Westam is just uh, trying to keep his uh, the boots on his feet, if that makes sense. And uh, it looks like Abu is trying to do whatever he has to do in order to win this battle. He's going to keep baragging, he's going to keep bolting, and Westam is just going to try to keep on his uh, the boots here and try to win this fight himself. It looks like he caught a 2 baraga there, which is not necessarily a lot of damage, but Westam does get managed to hit a 31 DDS spec on the Mystique there, which is very unpredictable, which manages to make Abu eat and uh, gain some momentum back into the fight here. And uh, it looks like uh, Abu hitting a 0 bolt and about 60 HP. Another 0 bolt and about Protect from Mage. It looks like Westam is trying to catch a Baraga, but fails. And it looks like Abu is the one that catches the Baraga, but Westam as well, and then goes for a DDS, but manages to hit a 0 0 while Abu throws a 32 Baraga. Another Baraga. It looks like it's the end for what? Oh, a, a Blood Baraga 33 there. It could be anybody's game right now. A 36 Whipper right here, right now. It looks like Westam. Westam is out of food right here, right now with Redemption with 1 HP. Is he going to kill him right now? A 2 Whipper. It looks like he just got a chance to whip with a 40. A Staff Bash on a 0 there. Is Abu going to finish it off right now? It's anybody's game right now. And it looks like Westam has lost to Abu 2-1. Abu is going to the semifinals and taking West Ham's title. <sighs> Good fight, my brothers. It looks like uh, Abu hit West Ham 40 out of 80 times off Protect, so 50% of the time. He had auto Protect and he had 120 Magic RNG with 613 damage dealt. Abu is the winner, which is a cute bunny. And Mr. West Ham over here had 3 more percent than Abu, but had 2 less hits. 41 out of 78 with 559 damage dealt with only 61 Magic RNG. But you guys got to realize something. Don't say it's bad RNG because... Abu did 32 Baragas, and West Ham only did... No, no, Abu did what? Well, Abu, Abu baragged way more, but I'm not gonna lie, West Ham did splash a lot, which made him have less odds. It says 61% that was caught, which is honestly, that's, that's very bad. That's just RNG at that point. There's two great NHs fighting each other, and sometimes it does come down to RNG. Good fight to the both of them. And uh, respect to you guys both. You guys were, were men and women to be feared. It looks like Panic beat Dizzy. So Panic is advancing. So it's going to be Abu versus Panic. Who Who's next? Zaza Zips versus S50 Chaser. ZL, I repeat, ZL. Bolter versus 1013 in the same world. Bolter starts off with a bolt. Manages to hit a zero here. He's going to go ahead and cast a Baraga here. 1013 is casting a Baraga here. But Bolter actually manages to get the first freeze of the fight and then automatically DDs under. This is what you gotta do. Alright, now he's DDing, he's utilizing everything he can, trying to get extra hits on 1013. He runs away, throws a bolt, that's a very good move right there. Fakies the mage and then bolts him. Melees him on the very last second. Is he gonna mage here? Is he gonna raid? No, he mages on 1013 his robes. Oh my god! 1013 goes and hits a 51 dead ass right off the bat right there. Beautiful way to gain momentum back into the fight, bro. That is a very good move right there in order to gain momentum back into the fight. It looks like 
Bolter was legitimately on the upper hand until that, that DDS spec. And it looks like Bolter just eating up, trying to utilize what he has to do here. Throws a Baraga. And um, it looks like 1013 he really utilizes those Blood Barag as well. And um, he's trying to whip him. He's trying to do whatever he can. He throws a Baraga and he splashes. Uh, it looks like Bolter really needs a big hit here. But he got that. He managed to get that Protect Melee on, which is very crucial because you don't want to get hit a 30-30 or a 20-20 by the IDDS spec because that could change the whole fight there. And it looks like they're both just trying to fake each other out, doing whatever they can in order for them to win the fight. But it looks like he tried to hit his pelvis right there and touch his breast with that. Code I won staff bash, which is uh, very interesting. But that 24 bolt proc, that could be a, a, a gaming decider right there. A 0 0 DDS right there. And it looks like 1013 has caught a 27 Baraga there, while Bolter's just trying to catch his freeze himself. And 1013 goes a 31 Blood Baraga, and another Blood Baraga as well, but manages to splash there. And it looks like he's just trying to freeze and put 1013 to, to stand still, but 1013 is, is, is flicking his black D hide, is doing whatever he has to do in order for him not to get freeze. A DDS spec right there. It looks like he's trying to catch a freezer and he does manage to catch it. But 1013 manages to get a blitz on him on the last very second. And Bolt is just standing in front of him, trying to do what he has to do in order to live, in order to kill this man. So right here, right now, he catches a Baraga. He splashes. He's trying to do whatever. He catches a bolt. But 1013 is absolutely obliterating him with these Baragas. And, and Bolt has to learn how just to sometimes just keep Protect Mage on. Because 1013 is usually just maging the whole entire time. And you have to just read your opponent. And uh, just, just you utilize your tank gear on most of the time. And it looks like Bolt is just trying to bolt him out. Trying to feel out what he's doing. And he throws a, a Baraga. Protect melee. Beautiful protect melee there by Bolter. And a very nice read by him. And he does throw a Baraga on the very last second. But manages to splash. He's going in right here, right now. Is he going to Barag? Is he going to Barag right here, right now? And he's not Baraging. He can't, he can't seem to catch a Barag on 1013. And 1013 looks like he has complete momentum all over the fight. Throwing a bolt on him. Faking the mage and actually maging him. But it looks like Bolter has finally caught a freeze. Is Bolter going to do something and utilize it here? He has to do something now because he is down by a lot of food here. Is he going to utilize it somehow? A 0-0 zero, zero by 1013 there. Is Bolter going to do something here in order for him to, to maybe bring this back and in, in, in this fight to his hands? Can he do it? Is he, is he capable of bringing this fight back into his hands? He has to do something now. He's going. He's running around with Black Dehyde. He runs in with a bolt and hits a 10 automatically. He's going to try to cast a Baraga here, but sadly, it does not catch. He's going to go ahead and try to catch. He's going to try to whip him out. But 1013 runs away from his whip and catches a Baraga. DD's right under him again. He's going to try to bolt. Sadly, it hits a zero. Is he going to try to catch a freeze here? Does he, does he manage to catch it? He does not. 1013 is absolutely utilizing that DD well and managing to put Bolter on the complete ropes and... Uh, and having momentum completely all over this fight. It looks like Bolter. Oh my god, Bolter just got bolted at 18. 10 13 is going to try to whip him. Fakey's the whip. And then goes to, back to the mage and tries to get it to freeze here, but sadly does not catch it. Bolter whipping him. Staff bashes him again. Uh, hits his jaw. That's absolutely insane, bro. I've never seen a move like that in my life. Um, it looks like they're both just trying to catch a freeze here. Bolter just trying to hit him off, protect really. Trying to do as much damage as possible. Um, sometimes it's not about freezes, it's, it's just getting them off and hitting them off protect right there. That's why he just went ahead and just threw a bolt right there. And the question is, is can Bolter bring this back? A DDS spec, a 23 DDS spec right there, which is very crucial. Can, can, oh no. He did not manage to get that DDS off before the DD. And it looks like he got bolted and is out of food. It looks like 1013 is about to wrap this up right now. And he's just going to try to catch one more freeze to, to make him stand still. So he could just uh, smash his opponent into pieces. And it looks like he's going to whip uh, an 18 there. And he's going to try to catch a Baraga, but sadly fails. He's going to try to catch a Baraga here as well. And he manages to catch it. And it looks like it's all over for Mr. Bolter. 2-0, 13 Good fight, my brothers. Okay, the next fight is going to be Mr. Flippity versus DBU. That's the next fight, my brothers and sisters of this shit. Okay, no, they're in, they're in. Everybody in the chat, ZL. They are in, right here, right now. DBU is Mr. PA, Lisa, whatever. And he's up by one. Uh, Flippity gets a 24 bolt right off the bat. Up with him and DBU catches a freeze though, which is very crucial in these type of fights. He's going to just keep maging and Flippity's just going to leave his tank gear on. And uh, looks like DBU is just going to keep maging him rapidly. But then Honest then just goes for the bolt randomly and actually gets him off protect. Goes for another ball off protect on his mystique and actually works out perfectly for him. He's going to try to catch a Baraga here and, and he does manage to get him off protect but doesn't manage. To, um, uh, it looks like he's going 50 miles just to spec him off prayer which, which is which is beautiful and he's 
he's he's Forrest Gumping that DDS and he's he's not letting go of it and that's what I like to see. And it looks like he's just gonna keep throwing Baragas at Mr. Flippity over here and uh Flippity's just gonna keep taking damage. Beautiful blood baraga by Mr. DBU there. And it looks like DBU is just gonna keep throwing some baragas at him and uh try to take this fight to his. And it looks like Flippity went and threw a, threw a 32 bolt to a 17 baraga, which is absolutely insane. And he 10 ticks of DDS there, which is very beautiful, and uh we we, we could take those. And it looks like uh, Mr. Lisa over here is gonna is getting DD'd on by Mr. Flippity, and he's gonna try to cast a Braga, but sadly does not catch one at that moment. The question is, DBU, will, will he get some hits in on this DD or not? And he does not get some any hits in at the whole time right now. All right, 10-17 to Protect Melee. DBU got fairly lucky there. And then also, it's a zero ball on Protect Mage. Is he going to cast this Baraga here? He doesn't manage to catch any, and he manages to splash. And he manages to splash again while this guy is bolting him on the Protect Mage. Will, they will any of them catch the Baraga here? It looks like none of them are catching the Baraga. Flippity's going to go for the DDS. But it does man but DBU does manage to run away and use Protect Me Leon. And it looks like DBU does manage to get double Baraga. And now he's just gonna run away and do another Baraga as well. Fake you the crossbow and go for the melee hit and hit a 22 on his mystiques there, which is absolutely beautiful. That's the type of things you want to see in an H fight. Utilizing the tape gear, utilizing the fakies, and get catching your opponent off guard. He's gonna go ahead and proc a bolt, and it's gonna be a 10 there. And DBU has his whip out, bolt out, and he's going to try to bolt him, and he does manage to hit him off prayer. He's going to try to catch a Baraga to get momentum back in the fight, and he does manage to get it. And he does hit a 33, which is a very big hit in terms of a Baraga. And uh, it looks like um, he's going to try to DDS him here, and he does manage to hit a 0-0, which is very bad for him. And he's going to throw another Baraga, but does manage to hit a 9, which he should be happy about, because every Baraga does count, and every freeze does count. And every hit does count. So he's going to throw a Baraga there, and he does manage to hit a 13, takes off his D-boots. Tries to throw another Baraga and actually two steps him and Barags him right away yet again. Throws a bolt and hits a 14 through his Mystique. Throws another bolt on um, Protect Mage but doesn't manage to get it. And he's just going to keep throwing bolts while Flippity's Blood Baraging every single Baraga on the last four Baragas. And it looks like he just finally threw a freeze there and uh, DBU looks like he's catching on and he's going to start throwing Blood Baragas himself now. That DDS just hit a 21, DBU's running away. He put the Black Dehyde top on again, see if he can catch a Baraga. Indeed he did! That's a very crucial Baraga at this moment because he's going to bolt and DD right under. But nope, he got frozen right away as soon as he bolted. So he did not have the DD time in order to have that. But it looks like it could be anybody's game right now. It looks like whoever catches the next 30 bolt, the next 30 Baraga, the next 40 whip, it could be anybody's game to gain momentum right now. Right now, this is DBU versus Flippity. It could be anybody's game. He throws a bolt. Can he hit that? Yes, he can. He hit it and hit 23. Can he catch that Baraga on Verkakian? Yes, he can. Is he going to hit that bolt? He does not. He's going to go ahead and throw a Baraga right there. Does he hit it? He does not. He splashes. He's going to throw another Baraga. He's Protect Mage on. Hits a 21 through Protect Mage. He's going to keep Baragging this man and hits a 13 through Protect Mage. Hits another 29 on Protect Range. And it looks like he's probably going to try to end him very soon here. And he's going to bolt him. DDS 0-0. Zero, zero. And uh, it looks like DBU might be wrapping this fight up right now if that's a big bolt. And it is a 20 bowl, and uh, Flippity's going to try to utilize that DD and see if he could bring this fight back into his. Is DBU going to catch this freeze? Is Flippity going to catch this freeze here? It just it all matters on that. And it looks like he's DDSing. DBU read him. What a beautiful read by DBU in order to whip him there. And it looks like Flippity's back at 99 health, but gets hit a 24 bolt there. And it looks like he's going to get hit in. Hitten, yes, what a beautiful word by, by Mr. Otakok. He's going to get hit by that Baraga, and it, it, and it is going to get a frozen there. Yup, yup, yes indeed. The salutation of the evaporation with the condensation, with the delishing, with the habitation, with the environmental, with the animals, in order for that to go ahead and succeed. But in order for him to succeed there, he went ahead and uh, did what he had to do there. Ah, oh, yes. And he's going to go ahead and he's going to try to catch a free... Oh, a whipper on DBU, and it's a 33. That is a... Oh my god, a 28 blood Baraga there as well. A 22 bar... That is 80 damage plus in a span of about 10 seconds. And it looks like Flippity is not done not done yet and it looks like he could he could easily win this with all those hits it looks like dbu is at a bruise and it looks like both of them are just trying to do what they got to do in order to win this and it looks like dbu will wrap this up on this very next hit here and but no flippity go ahead and uses redemption on the dds and manages to live out of that dds spec can flippity bring this back somehow after that redemption can flippity bring this back somehow but no he gets frozen right away and dbu is going to start baragging instantly and now it's all up to DBU just to finish him off and hit that last 25 health here. And he, he hits a 21. Now, if DBU splashes. And no, he finishes off with a 31 Baraga. 
Rot versus SV, he says, and he finishes him off 2-0. DBU did win that battle. It looks like DBU did 44 out of 82 overheads correctly on that guy and did 54% with 99 Magic RNG with 674 damage Zelt. Mr. Flippity, on the other hand, did the same exact percentage. I mean, excuse me, same exact amount of hits and did 6 lower percent than him, which most likely costed him that fight if he had better overheads and had 4 less percent, which dealt only 507 damage. And DBU took that home 4 2 0. All right, what's the next fight? Let's see. Next is Panic versus Abu. Ooh. Oh, shit. Who oh, is this baby? Could be anybody's game, brothers. It could be anybody's game. They're in. Zeal. Zeal. They're following each other. Goes in for the Baraga. Goes in for the bolt right off the start. Baraga. Panic manages to catch the first Baraga of the fight, which means he gets momentum right from the start. Abu has flashed three times. But the Panic is bolting him now. Whipper, beautiful. Abu manages to get a Baraga there with the 33. Very crucial. Baraga, crucial. The, they both are neck at neck, literally. A bolt. Whipper. Whipper. 31 Baraga by Panic. That's a very big hit there. He has to bring it back. Abu has to get your Baraga here. Be that's, that's what he needed. He needed to bring it back. And he hit a 27. That's what was needed. 20 second. 20 sick blood blitz there. A 34 bull. This is literally a. This is a slugfest. Everybody's just hitting each other back to back. 21 bull. Okay. You have. Okay. He just hit. He hit back a 20 there. That's what he needed. A 15 Baraga. A bolt on his mystique there. Does he hit it? He does not. A, oh my god, a Kodai Staff Bash and hit a 13. We'll take those. Panic with the 7. We'll take that as well. A 7 bolt on his mystique. Very unfortunate. They're both Baragi. They're both. This is literally a slugfest. A 32 Baraga by Brother Abu. But Panic manages to get a DDS spec at the same time. They're whipping. They're DDSing. They're Baragging. He's trying to Baraga and run away at the same time. He's going to bolt him and act like he was baragging. What a beautiful way to bolt there. Another bolt. Does he catch it? A zero on the protect mage. That's very unfortunate. A zero whip on 45 HP on Abu. It's anybody's game. They're eating up to full and reevaluating the situation. Zero, zero on protect melee. Very good read by Mr. Abu. Panic just trying to get, dump his specs out. Trying to get some HP down. A zero, zero on protect range. Very unfortunate for Mr. Abu there. They both barag, but Panic and Obu managed to catch the freeze there. This could be anybody's game. This could be anybody's game. Panic decides, Gil, Gil, blood blitz on that one. Abu, Gil, Gil, baragging on that one. Bolt on the Mystique, does he hit it? He does not. Another bolt on the Mystique, does he hit it? He does not. A bolt on his tank gear, he does not hit it. A bolt on his Mystique, he hits it. A baraga on the tank gear, does he catch it? A big bolt. What a beautiful read. And it was a proc as well. Big bolt on his mystique there. That was a very good move by brother. Did he him? Oh my god. What a four-way fakie, man. That was beautiful. Man. Mr. Ebo there. A, a bolt on his mystique. A 32 bolt on his mystique. That's what I like to see. Anybody's game. I repeat. Anybody's game. Anybody's game. The neck at neck. A bolt on, on any primers. A bolt on his mystique. Yup, yup. This is what we like to see when it comes down to an aging. A 0, zero DDS to protect melee on him. Abu trying to DDS, but unfortunately he went diagonal. Abu staff bashes. Panic does a 26 Baraga. Abu really needs to hit something here or he's just, he's just going to get momentum. You really need to cast the Baraga. Oh no. If Panic casts this Baraga, I believe it's all over for Mr. Abu. You got to cast the Baraga there. Beautiful Baraga. Somebody just bought the Bomber Pop starter from Juju. Pog it out in the chat. Let's go support Juju. It's the best thing you could get. I'm telling you right now. Right here, right now. The Bomber Pop starter. That's my favorite flavor, by the way. Bomber Pop. Right here, right now. It's happening. The fight of the fights. The fight of the fights. A zero bolt. Hype him up. I didn't even see his name. I think it was Rush. Rush, thank you so much for buying Bomber Pop starter, brother. You're a man to be fucking feared. Ba Baraga. 
Is he gonna cast it? Who's gonna catch the next Baraka? Zero five DDS. Abu manages to catch the Baraga and gain momentum back. It's all up to how he utilizes the DD now. He misclicks and follows him. A zero on the whipper. A zero bolter by Mr. Panic. A zero whipper as well. A zero wh a six whip by Mr. Panic there. A Baraga by Mr. Abu and he manages to fail. A zero whip. They're both just hitting zeros constantly. A zero eight DDS. Yes. He manages to throw a Baraga out. And it's a one. Panic manages to get a bolt out. What a beautiful bolt by Brother Panic. A 33 bolt here. A 20, a 20 whipper. The Baraga. Can we get a whipper? Can we get a bolter? A beautiful whipper here. Can he get a Baraga on the next hit? He can. Panic is uh, putting Abu on the ropes right now. Abu needs to catch a freeze here. He needs to catch a freeze here. A 33 whip by Mr. Panic. A 10 Baraga by Mr. Panic. No, that was Abu that costed the 10. Forgive me. He has him frozen. I believe Panic is up food right now. Abu has to do something in order for him to get this win. A, 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 a zero? A zero on the Mystique. It seems that he needs to catch the Baraga on this next one or it's all over for Mr. Abu, my brothers. Panic will take this one home. He casts the Baraga. It looks like it is now over for Mr. Abu. Unless he could somehow bring this back. He got a redemption on. Oh my god, I can't even commentate. I'm just like so focused. No way. No way, right? Oh my god! Oh my god, the redemptions by Mr. Abu here could cost him the big win. Can make him win this marvelous match. A zero on the Mystique. Panic is just trying to finish him off, but he can't seem to beat Abu down. Abu's not going down without a fight, but then he gets bolted. And then Panic 07 takes the win. 2-1. To Mr. Abu. ZF. Congratulations, Mr. Panic. Mr. Abu hit Panic 07. 53 out of 96 times with 55% correct players right. With 70% magic RNG and 531 damage Zelt. On the other hand, Panic 07, 48%, 7% lower. But guys, listen. Panic got 11 extra hits on Abu. So that's 11 extra DPS hits that he got for free because Abu only did 96 hits and Panic did 107 hits but I'm not gonna lie Panic's magic RNG is a bit high compared to Abu's all right now it looks like it's gonna be Panic versus Bojati oh my god Hamzawi beat Barnes 2-1 it's gonna be Hamzawi versus 1013 Panic versus Bojati oh my god so 1013 versus Hamzawi. Panic versus Bojati. Bojati is a fucking machine, bro. It's gonna be Zaza Zips, aka 1013, versus DBU. PH this Liha. The guy that was like, I'm nervous. And then won and then wrote, I'm so bad. That guy. Okay. This is to get to the semifinals. This is to get to the semifinals match. Can I get a zeal in the chat for both of these individuals? 1013 and DBU. May the better man win. And uh, you guys are free to go in whenever you'd like. Oh my god, they're starting. DBU versus 1013. Right here, right now. It is happening. The fight of the century. It is happening. Oh my god, I'm losing. I'm losing. Okay. Let me, let me, let me focus. All right. 10-13 on the right side, DBU on the left side here. Trying to, you try to fake a DDS here. Goes for a bolt, beautiful there. Um, goes for another DDS, but 10-13 is not letting that happen. Using protect melee and bolting on the same exact tick, doing over 70 damage already. Casting a Baraga there, running with the black D high top, faking the DDS, poking with the staff bash, what a move. 
protect melee, 0 22 through protect melee. And it looks like DBU is just trying to do whatever he can in order to win this battle. And that's that's respectable. Mr. 1013 is over here, uh, casting Baraga, is doing whatever he has to do, faking a lot of stuff. A uh, very nice whip here by Mother 13 because uh, very unpredictable. Another nice whip there. And it looks like DBU is trying to whip him, but sadly he got frozen, which may have costed him that momentum at that very moment. They both decided to bolt there, which which both of them got a hit in. 1013 got a bolt in, but DBU actually got a 26 Baraga in there, which is very nice. Um, DBU trying to cast the Baraga here, hits an 18 through Protect Mage, and then goes for another Baraga, but sadly, that does not count. Um, he goes for another Baraga, but sadly, does that, that does not hit either. And it seems that 1013 is blitzing now while he's brewing, and also catches 11 Baraga there, runs away, and then goes for a whip hit. To act like he was gonna range. What a beautiful bolt there by 1013 as well. Going back to the whipper, most likely gonna barrag here and goes for the baraga. And I believe he did splash that. Goes for another baraga, and they're both baragging each other. And it looks like they both have caught their freezes. And it seems that DBUs are missing a few ticks here, and 1013 is just trying to utilize everything he can this fight. And uh, a 17 bolt back to a, a zero bolt. And he did have protection overheads. Another another bolt on protect range. A 24 Baraga on DBU there. And um, another Baraga on DBU, which splash. And then a bolt on DBU's Mystiques. Could have maybe costed him the match there. A 35 bolt on DBU. And then he's just going to go for a, a Blood Baraga to heal up. Which is very good because, like I said, not only that it heals you, but it does do, do damage to your opponents as well. A nice fakie with the range. Back to the DDS spec. Back to a whip. And then also going for a Baraga, they both catched it at the same tick, which means that nobody, they're, they're just face in face slugging it out. And 1013 already has uh, a very big advantage because uh, he is up by, I, I believe, maybe double the food right now. And it looks like 1013 is just going to try to wrap this one up quickly. And uh, DBU is trying his best just to keep on his, the boots and uh, see if he can catch some bolts and Baragas in. It looks like DBU is running away, calling out for God and... Uh, doesn't seem that he's not getting any help there. Tries to bolt out 1013 in it, and he did manage to hit a zero there. And uh, he's barogging 1013 right there, and uh, DBU is trying to get some help, and uh, he, he has to he has to do something here or something different, or he's just gonna go ahead and lose this round right now. And it's gonna be 2-0. And it looks like uh, he's getting you know he's hitting some off protect right there. So is uh, 1013. A DDS spec on protect melee. Good read by DBU. A Baraga by both of the individuals there. They DD. 1013 Baragas again whilst DBU staff bashes. That's a good bolt by DBU there off protection. And then uh, 1013 hits him off prayer. Whips him. And uh, Baragas him as well while DBU bolts him. A beautiful blood Baraga there. And um, 1013 is going to Barag hit a 5. And it's a blood Baraga again by Mr. 13. Really utilizing all the blood Baragas he can in order to gain that HP bonus. And it seems that... Uh, He's 115 HP right now. You can just tell by the way he was eating. And uh, it looks like 1013 will not be taking any chances to lose this. And he's just going to keep barraging him, fakie the range, fakie the mage, and then go for a bolt there. Very good move. A nice whipper by them. Yup, yup. And then he's just going to blood baraga. Beautiful move there. He's going to try to whip, go for a bolt. Nice move. Nice recovery by Mr. 13. DBU's just going to try to freeze him. But sadly, it looks like he cannot ca catch a freeze at this moment. But he finally caught it. And hit a 19 at this very moment. But 1013 decides he's just gonna try to freeze him back. And uh, 1013 is debating on what to do, flicking his tinker on and off and uh, seeing what he has to do in order to wrap this one up for Mr. DBU. <clears throat> and he decides that he's gonna go ahead and staff bash. And, uh, <laughs> and Mr. Uh, Mr. DBU go ahead uh, is, is DD'd under by Mr. 13 here. And uh, the only thing that could save him if he if he goes ahead and prays to God now, because uh, I believe he is out of food, and uh, 13 has uh, a lot of food left, and he just hit a 24 through protect melee, a blitz that does not catch, but DBU does hit a 35, and uh, a blood baraga there finally by DBU trying to regain some HP bonuses, a nice bolt there by says DBU, but 1013 sadly caught the baraga, and it seems that the very next day is going to determine if 1013 wraps this one up or not. And this is wrapped up, my brothers. 10-13-2-0 has defeated DBU. Now, it's Boljari versus Panic. Oh my god! What? And then it's gonna be 10-13 versus Hemzawi, right? 
This is this is to get to the championship, but it's gonna be Panic or Bolgetti. Here we guys go, ZL to Bolgetti and Mr. Panic. A 25 whip hit by Mr. Panic 07 from the start of the fight. A 27 whip hit to Mr. Oh my god, Bolgetti's already down 52 health, boys. A 19 whip hit by Brother Bolgetti. A 19 whip hit by Brother Panic as well. Bajari is question marking Panic07 saying, What the rock? Bajari cannot take it anymore. He cannot remain quiet. He's trying to barag. Bajari gets hit a 34 bull and Panic07 question marks him. Oh, Bajari, do not take that. Panic hits a 26 bull and Bajari. Bajari is trying to barag. He cannot cast a barag, but Bajari gets hit a 24 bull by Mr. Panic. Bajari cannot seem to catch a freeze here. And he's finally caught in the freeze. What is Bajari going to do next? He got a proc of the bull. A 20 here. Bajari's just going to eat. Eat a lot. He's going to put his HP up and see what he has to do here. Bajari gets frozen instantly by Panic's Baraga. And uh, Panic automatically DDs under him. Bajari's going to have to do something here to bring this fight back because he is down by about 80 to 90 health, maybe even more. Is he going to cast that Baraga? He does. Bajari's going to cast a bolt here, but it's a zero on Protect from the Magic. A DDS on Mystique, and it's a zero twenty. 20 They all take that. A zero Whipper on Protect Melee. Good read by Mr. Panic. What is he going to do? Is he going to go a DDSer by Mr. P by Mr. Pojari? And it's a 0 0 0 and two specs on Mystique. No protect melee. What is Pojari going to do? He catches a Baraga. He instantly catches it. Panico 7 42 whips him while Bajari hits a 0 on his protect mage. Panico 7 hits a 24 on Bajari's protect mage with a whip. Bajari is going to bolt on protect mage and hits a 26. Bajari hits a 28 bolt. He hits a zero. He's going to try to catch a freeze here, but sadly he does not catch it. It looks like both of them are trying to catch a freeze here. And then Panico 7 hits a 36 bolt. A bolt to Panico 7's dome and it's a two. A bolt to Panico 7 it's a 38. A zero 14 to Panico 7. Monkeys. Bajari's just trying to put it back on his feet. He bolts on, on Protect Mage. He actually got it in. He whips on Protect Melee, but sadly hits a zero. Bajari's just trying to get back on his feet. What is Bajari going to do next? What is Primer going to do next? Runs out. Cast a Baraga. Will he, will he hit it? He splashes on Protect Melee. He bolts on Protect Mage and hits a seven. Is he going to cast this Baraga? It's a Blood Baraga, sadly. Mr. Bojari automatically caught the freeze right after. He freezes again. Panic freezes again and hits a 6 through Protect Mage. Panic hits a 0 on Protect from Melee. A 33 whip by Mr. Bojari there. A 15 Baraga by Mr. Bojari. A 22 Blood Blitz by Mr. Panic. A 25 Blitz by Mr. Bojari. A 17 0 by Mr. Panic 07 with the DDSer. Double Blood, double Baraga over there by Mr. Man. Uh, Bajari is going to go ahead and Baraga again. That's 39 damage and two Baragas. And uh, Panic went, went ahead and whipped him on Protect Mage. And luckily, Bajari went ahead and tanked it. A bolt on Mystique there. And Bajari does pay off for Mr. Bajari. They're both going to eat high. Bajari tried freezing him before the DD, but it was too late. Maybe a freeze here and Bajari can make this fight turn around. Is it a freeze? Indeed it is. He's going to go ahead and fake you the crossbow, go for a whip, and it's a zero whip. A zero 12 DDS on Mystique on 50 HP. A Baraga there, it's a 25, and Bajari's taking the fight back. Is he going to bolt? Is he going to whip? Is he going to Baraga? Find out in the next Odakok. The Redemption, saving Panic. Redemption. Mr. Panic 07 is out of food. What is Panic going to do here with no HP and Redemption left? Can Panic bring this back like how Bajari has in the past? Does he have the capabilities as a nature to win this fight with about 15 HP? And he does. He's using Redemption very wisely. He's Redemption twice in a row. B Panic 07 can win this. It is very possible. He's just going to have to hit the RNG. Another Redemption by Mr. Panic. 
A DDSer. Is Bajadi going to be ended here? And it's a 16 weapon. Pentacle 7 takes a win with 3 to 1. He has won Bajadi with 3 redemptions in a row. Oh my god. Zit's crazy. Mr. Pentacle 7. 37 out of 72 overheads right. 51%. 81% magic RNG. 603 mag damage dealt. Bajari got four more extra hits than Panico 7 with the same exact percentage and did four more extra hits. 641 more damage dealt and 96% magic RNG. You guys are both very good natures and it seems one has came out on top and that was Panico 7. Bajari, you are a very very good in nature, brother, and the things we saw from you today, nobody will forget. So can we get a round of applause for Mr. Bojati and all the other candidates that went hard and uh, sit the fuck down, brother. That's my saying. All right, now it's Hamzawi versus 1013. Oh my God, this fight is about to be crazy. Hamzawi's a fucking beast. 1013's a fucking beast. This is about to be insane, bro. Whoever wins the next fight automatically goes to the championship match with Mr. Panic 07. And um, just zeal and made that better man win, you know? Um, these are two very great NHs, uh, NHing at a high level, and anything can really happen. So uh, zeal to the both of these brothers, and uh, whoever wins this next fight automatically advances into the championship round. Okay, they are in. I'm going to reset it real quick. Reset players. All right, boys. Zeal, zeal, zeal. 10 13 versus Hamzawi. A zero whip right off the bat. Hamzawi is just trying to catch a freezer, and indeed, he catches it. It is now happening right now. The last and final fight, Hamzawi versus 1013. It is 2 2. Whoever wins this one right now, they will be going into the championship match with Mr. Panic 07. And it seems that it is 1013's ping. So he does have slight, slight odds, but it can happen. And uh, let me put some this. Alrighty then. A both by Mr. Hamzawi, and it's a 7 on his mystique. A Baraga by Mr. Hamzawi, and sadly, it splashes. Mr. Hamzawi's trying to catch a freeze, and unfortunately, he can't just catch one. He hits a zero whip as Mr. 13 DDSs, and Mr. 13 goes ahead and hits a 25 on his robes, which is very, very, such a big hit in this crucial time moment. A 15 through his robes, a 12 Bob Baraga, and he DDs under and puts his health back up there. Hamzawi in 10 13. Very good at natures. A 0 3 DDS spec. A Blood Baraga here. Sadly, 10 13, it's a 0 0 on Protect from Magic. Who's gonna win this marvelous match? He's gonna go ahead and Baraga. He does Baraga, but sadly it splashes. A nice Baraga here. It's gonna go ahead and hit a 10. A Bolt on Protect Mage, it hits a sick. This is anybody's game, brothers and sisters of the chat. This is anybody's game. Who's gonna cast the next 30 Baraga? Who's gonna hit the next 40 whip? What a beautiful move by Mr. 13 there, impersonating the whip and then goes instantly for the Baraga. Very good move by him. And it seems that they are both really hitting just very bad hits right now. But 1013 does manage to get a 12 bolt in and a 21 whip as Hemzawi's on the ropes now. He goes and throws a blitz and Hemzawi's eating. And 13 manages to hit a 0 0 DDS and about 67 HP. A blood Baraga by Mr. Hemzawi there. A bolt by Mr. Hemzawi there on Protect Melee. But Hemzawi gets a 30 bolt on him. And that's going to take a toll on him on this fight right now. Because that means he's going to have to brew up and he's forced to blitz. But he does manage to catch a blitz here and he goes for the Baraga. But he gets instantly frozen by Mr. 13's blitz. They are both blood baraging. They are both bolting. This could be anybody's game. Who got the next 30 bolt? Who got the next 30 Baraga? A 7 whip there. Every hit counts. It looks like 13 has a slight advantage and is winning right now. A DDS a 0 12. Mr. 13 hitting an 18 on him. A 0 whip hit as well. A nice, a nice fakie on the mage. And then goes for the whip hit. That is absolutely beautiful. A blood baraga there. What a beautiful man he is. Another another bolter on Mr. Min Hamzawi's chest. This could be anybody's match, but we're gonna see we're gonna need to see some hits. Oh my god, this is anybody's game. This is legitimately anybody's game. Who got the next 40 whip? Who got the next 40 bolt? That, that's what you gotta ask yourself. 
And it looks like they're both hitting just Zulgi shit at this point. But I do believe 1013 is up a few hits. A 10 bolt and an 8 Baraga. Does he catch the freeze here? He, indeed he does. A 20 freeze on blood on, on Protect Mage. But yo, Mr. 13 retaliates with a 19 Baraga through Protect Mage as well. Who got it? That's what you gotta ask yourself. Who got it? On Braga, on Mr. Hamzawi there. A DDS spec on Protect Melee. Hamzawi was just trying to do some extra damage and unfortunately, it did not pay off. A Baraga there. And it splashes. He really needed that to happen. He fakies the whip and goes for the Blood Baraga. What a move by Mr. 13 there. Does he cast that freeze? He does not. Will he cast the next one? A whipper of a zero there. And a 17 Baraga by Mr. Hamzawi. A whipper of a 4 on his mystique. Did he just smite him? I quit. A nice bolt by Mr. Hamzawi there trying to catch him off prey. Hits a 06 DDS. He's whipping. He's going. A 22 whip on his protect melee over there. A nice Baraga here and he catches it. A 17 on Mr. 13. Utilizing that blood Baraga as well. Getting that extra HP that he needs. He types Lyle and he's laughing at him. He said Lyle and he's laughing. He DDS is a 04. 13 is just laughing at this boy saying chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. Don't make my knees buckle. A 39 whip by Mr. Hemzawi. Oh my god. It is happening. Hemzawi turned this fight around while Mr. 13 was up. It's anybody's game. It's anybody's game. A nice ball by Mr. 13 there. I believe, excuse me, by, by Hamzawi. He goes for the Baraga and catches a zero Baraga. Goes in for a DDS, but 13 does manage to hit a 32. Oh my god. This is too close. A, a seven whip on Mystique. On no armor, basically. A 0-8 DDS spec on Hamzawi. 10-13 decides to bolt on his Mystique, but it does not pay off, and he hits a 0. Hamzawi catches the freeze, and DD's on there instantly. A bolter. They both bolt, and it's a 20 each. A bolter as well. A, bra a Baraga. A bolter. A Baraga. A whipper by Mr. 13. It looks like they're both out of food. Hamzawi does catch the freeze though. A 19 whip by Mr. 13. Oh no. It looks like 13 completely shrilled that man. Oh, it looks like he has food as well though. Anybody's game. Baraga. 13 decides to hit a zero bolt on Mystique there. And he instantly DDs under him after. A 19 Baraga, but it does not pay off because he's not frozen. And then a, a 39 whip. Which may have just changed the course of this whole NH fight. He needs to catch the Baraga here. And then it ends Hamzawi with a 33 whip. And he types RNG. <laughs> 13 has won the battle. 3 to 2 to Hamzawi. Alright. All right, uh, before, before we start, I have the two champions in here right yeah. now. And... Uh, and uh, Panic and 13, have you guys fought yeah, before? Yeah. Or it's no? my boy, yeah, Panic fan. If and... I lose, I don't care, bro. It's my boy. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, say no more. And, and, and brother, brother Panic, and uh, I'm guessing you feel the same way, correct? Yeah, I mean, 1013 is one of my coaches. Like, huge shout out to 1013 and to Legendarium, the pure Seb. They legit taught me how to NH. Yes, and I'm only where I'm at because of them. So, this is literally, literally okay. student versus Respectable. coach here. Like, if I win, All right. yeah, I mean, I'll... 1013 is better. So, if he wins, um, Fair. Yeah, like it is what it is. If I win, it's probably going to be the RNG, but we'll, we'll do the best we can. It'll be fun. We'll see what happens. All right, Anything best of happen. five. Best of five. I'm excited. I'm excited to see who wins the tournament. I will be hosting these way more often from now on. And um, I'm happy you guys are all here. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, grab your popcorn for this last match. Best out of five championship match. Panic 07 versus 1013. Everybody, here we go. Panic catches the first Baraga. This is gonna be a battle of RNG and skill. Looks like Panic is taking care of the fight right now. And um, it looks like he has 1013 on the ropes right now. 
He's going in. Bolt by Mr. Panic over there. 10-13 going in. Beautiful, beautiful movement by both players here. And they're going to go ahead and bolt. But it looks like Panic 07 fooled Mr. 13 and hit a 26 DDS off Protect. But it looks like Panic is going to go ahead and hit a 16 Baraga. D under him and then Baraga again. He goes in for the Whipper. What a beautiful move by Mr. Panic 07 here. Taking complete control of the fight. What a beautiful fakie by Mr. Panic as well. A nice Baraga with a 34 as well there. Can we get another Bolt? Another Bolt by Mr. Panic. Taking complete control over the fight. Absolutely incinerating Mr. 13 at the moment. Can 13 bring this back though? That's the question. It is now happening. Panic taking another Baraga. I do appreciate it. That, that is, that is, that, that's what it is. Another Baraga by Mr. Panic. A Bolt by Mr. Man 13. Ice Blitters. Blood Blitz by Mr. 13. Uh, a Whipper by Mr. 13 here. A, a Baraga by Mr. Panic over there. A Didier Speckle on 99 HP. Mr. 13 go ahead and freezes, but sadly he doesn't cast. A Bolt by Mr. 13 here, doing it on Protect Melee. Another Bolt by Mr. 13 here, but sadly it does not hit. A, th a Blood Blitz by Mr. 13, but it hits, but it hits a zero. Panic 07, go ahead and pokes him. He go ahead and He's going in for the Baraga. Who's going to win this marvelous match? Another Blood Blitz by Mr. P by Mr. Panic. Another, a Big Bolt by Mr. 13, but sadly hits a 0 on Protect Mage. A 0-0 zero, zero DDS on Protect Mage. A 0-0 zero, zero DDS another time on Protect Mage on Mr. Panic. Very unfortunate for Mr. 13. A 36 Bolt on Protect Melee. Uh, one of his Bolts has hit. Another bolt by Mr. 13. Another bolt has hit with a 5 on it. On Protect Mage on Mystique. Another bolt on Protect Mage, but it hits at 0. A DDS spec, a 0 1 on Protect Melee. Panic goes in Baragas, but sadly does not cast. He bolts on Mystique, but sadly hits another 0. Another bolt on Protect Mage, but sadly does not cast. And Panic does hit a 13 to Protect Range. Another bolt on Mystique, and does, it does hit a 0. A uh, nice whip hit by Mr. Panic there, squeezing it in on Protect Range. A Baraga by Mr. 13. DDing under him, baragging again, but sadly does not cast it. A baraga by Mr. 13 again, but only hits a 5. A baraga, no way, a bolt by Mr. 13 and hits a 0 on Protect Melee. Panic has just hit a 0 17 DDS to Protect Melee. A 0 bolt on Protect Melee, sadly. A bolt on Panic 07's Mage, but it hits a 0. A bolt on Panic's Mystic, but it hits a 9. Panic's trying to catch a freezer on Protect Melee, but sadly it splashed. Another Baraga, and it was on Protect Melee. Sadly, it did not go. Mr. 13 is trying to get a freezer, and luckily he got it. He's going to go ahead and whip DD right under. Fakey the mage, and then go for a bull, and a zero on Protect Melee. A whip on Protect Mage, and sadly does not hit on Mystique. A, a bolt on Protect Melee, and it does not hit. A DDS on Protect Range, and it does hit a 30-0. A, a Baraga on Protect Range, and it does splash. A bolt on Protect Mage, does it hit? It does not hit. He fakies the mage, goes back to the bolt. On Protect Mage, does it hit? Zero on Protect Range on Mr. 13. A Baraga by him. Panic just hit a zero bolt on Protect Mage, I believe. Double Baraga. A zero on Protect Melee by Mr. 13. He's going in. A Whipper on a 25 through the Mystique. A Baraga on here. A beautiful one there. We'll take that. Every hit counts on these type of fights. Mr. 13 is trying to get as much as hits as possible, and I do believe he got way more hits than Panic right now. And Panic has to fix that and try to utilize more DDs and freezes in order for him to fix that immediately. It looks like both of them caught the freeze here, so they should be fine when keeping distance. It looks like he tried going for a Blood Blitz there and sadly only hit a zero. Both of the opponents are baragging, doing what they gotta do in order for win this battle. A 21 Bolt on Protect Mage. Another Bolt on Protect Mage is a hit? It does not. A Blood Blitz on Protect Mage does a hit? It does not. A Bolt on Protect Mage does a hit? It does. A Baraga on Protect Melee does a hit, it does not. Both of them Protect Mage. It looks like Panic gets the Baraga. He's gonna DD, he's gonna utilize that as much as possible on Mr. 13 here. A Bolt on Mr. Panic, but it does... A DDS spec on Mr. Man 13. A 0-15 by Mr. Panic. A 16 Bolt. 13 does go for a desperate DDS, but sadly it does not hit. Any Baragas? And there is the Baraga by Mr. 13 as well. Another Baraga. A Bolt by Mr. 13. Off Protect Range and Sally does not hit. Another Bolt on Protect Mage. It does not hit. He tries to catch a Baraga here, but it does not freeze him. Another Baraga here. Does it freeze? It does not. But 13 does get frozen and he tries to freeze him right back. And it does work. Another freeze here. A Blood Baraga, but it only did zero damage. 
13 is here, bolting on Protect Mage, but sadly hit a zero. Panic hit a zero, bolt on Protect Mage as well. A Blood Baraga, but it only hits an eight. A DDS spec fakes it. Goes for the Baraga. Does it cast? It does not. Thirteen. Panic was trying to go for a DDS, but misclicked. Goes for a Baraga. Does he catch it? He does. Panic 07 utilizing that DD, eating to full, making sure he doesn't die, and trying to take control back onto the fight. A 0 0 DDS spec by Mr. Panic, but he gets hit a 12 bolt. A 36 bolt by Mr. Panic, changing the fight. Oh my god, a 41 DDS by Mr. 13. Oh my god! This is anybody's game here, brothers. This is anybody's game. A, 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 a Blood Baraga by Mr. 13 there. A Bolt by, by Mr. 13. Whips him. A 32 on Protect Mage. I believe Panic whipped him about a 20 there as well. He tries to go for a Bolt. Switches back to the Mage Gear. One of them is gonna... He cast a Bolt on his Mystique and hits a 35. Will he catch this Baraga? He will not! Anybody's game. They both have Redemption on. Is he gonna hit? And he hits it. A 25 to Protect Range. Beating Mr. Panic 07. 10 13 Teen! Mr. Panic 07 got 41 out of 94 hits off prayer and had 92% magic RNG with 599 damage dealt. 1013 had 9 extra hits and 12 extra prayers 12% extra prayers right. 605 damage hits and 5 more percent on the mage RNG. So 1013 got nine extra hits, and that is very, very important when it comes down to NHing. And uh, he got also got 12 more percent. So as soon as they come in, I'll reset it. Everybody in the chat, ZL to both of these individuals. The championship match. It is 1-0 right now. 1013 is winning. All right, boys, we are in. My ping now. A 40 whip as he says that. He thought he was going to be cocky, but no. 13 shuts his ass up with a 40 whipper. DDS is him and DDS, and then DDS right under. He has no time to even talk. Another DDS to Panic 07. He said, Rook your pin. Goes for a bolt, and then DDS is right under. 1013 is showing no mercy right now. I repeat, no mercy is being shown to Mr. Panic. It may be Panic 07's ping, but 1013 is a man to be feared. Always remember that. A bolt proc on Mr. on Mr. 13, but it seems that Mr. 13 also hit a 21 as well. Protect Melee, a 0, zero. Another DDS, a zero, 0 on Mr. Panic. Bolts on Protect Mage and sadly hits a 0. It looks like pa it looks like oh my god, it looks like 13 has this fight in the bag right now. He is completely having complete control over this fight right now. A 20 Baragon through Protect Mage as well for Mr. 13. A 10 bolt. To protect range. A blood a baraga. A 32 baraga on Mr. Panic. It I will not lie to you guys as I say this. Excuse my language, but it seems that Panic 07 is being fucked right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was very unprofessional. But maybe he can bring this back. We've seen him do it before. Panic has the capabilities of bringing this back. He's gonna go in and Baraga. He's trying to Baraga him. He whips him on Protect Mage, but sadly it does not work. Baraga here. A three Baraga. What is he gonna do next? 13 goes in for the Whipper. A Staff Bash by Brother 13. A Whip Hit by Brother 13. Panic lost. It is not over yet. Panic has the capabilities of winning this. He, he is good enough. He can bring this home. It's very possible he can win this round. 1013 has a good start, but as long as Panic stays calm, he could easily win this round. He has the capabilities of doing a 30 bolt to Mr. 13, a, a 20 bolt to Mr. Panic. They both cast the Baraga here, and it only seems that Mr. Panic catches the freeze. A Baraga as well here. A, a bolt on Protect Mage, but sadly, Panic's hit does not work. A 27 Baraga, though, which will now be good for Mr. Panic. A 7 bolt on Protect Range. He's going to go for the Whip Hit, but sadly hits a 0 on Protect Mage. A 9 bolt on Protect Mage. A 0 bolt while Panic, I believe, I believe that was a DDS spec and hit a 0 0. A, z well, a bolt on Protect Mage and on Mystique. You cannot let that happen. And he automatically hit a 14 Baraga on that. Oh my god, this is the battle. 
a 24 Blood Baraga, which heals him and does damage to the opponent, which is very good. A 29 Blitz, though. That must have hurt a lot to have that. Um, looks like 13 is just eating. Automatically bolted him a 35 with a Ventic Defender on. And it, it, it really does seem like... Uh, oh, a 36 DDS spec by Mr. Panic. And it, and it looks like Mr. Mr. Panic might be out of food here, if I'm not mistaken. And he is out of food, and it is that fast, that quick. 10-13 ends Panic on his own pain. All right, everybody in the chat. Right now, it's back at 10-13's ping, which means... That last fight was on Panic's world, and it seems that he did lose. You know, eh, sometimes you just get slaughtered, sometimes you do very well. And um, this is the last championship match. If 1013 does win this, he will take home all the GP. The big prize. The total prizes were 6.4 billion GP. All right, starting off with the Whipper, Mr. Mr. A, a Baraga by Mr. 1013, and it's a Bolt proc on Mr. 1013 as well. Fakies the DDS, goes for the range, and hits a zero Bolt proc on Mr. Panic. Panic is trying to DDS him. Runs away and then gets a free Bolt on Mr. Panic over there. Another free Bolt on Mr. Panic on Protect Mage. A zero 018, and Panic still hasn't hit yet back. Beautiful DDS spec by Mr. Panic hitting a zero 034 to put him back right into the fight. Bolt, Bolt. They're both baragging at this point, waiting just uh, a bo Oh, a Bolt on Protect Mage. See, you gotta get those Bolts in. Another Bolt on Protect Mage. Notice how 1013 is shooting those Bolts on Protect Mage. And it's it's really hurting Panic 07 right there. And um, a, D a DDS poke, which is not good, but Panic does manage to get a 32 Baraga on Mr. 1013. He's just going to eat up, reevaluate the situation, and go back out there. A Baraga by Mr. Panic, but sadly, splashes on, on Protect Range. A 15 to Protect Mage. A Bolt on Protect Mage. He needs to get those in. Sag, a bit unlucky for Mr. Panic over there getting hit a 32 Bolt as he hit a 0 right before that. A 25 Whip through Protect Melee. A 4 Bolt. A 27 Bolt. A Didi... A Baraga as well here. He DDSs him a 0 10 on Mystique. Runs away, gets a bolt in on Protect Mage, but sadly does not hit. A 29 bolt on Mr. Panic right there. Another bolt on Mr. Panic right there. They're both just baragging at this point, trying to get a DD in. A whip, a zero whip on Protect Mage, I believe. A baraga through 12. A DDS spec, a DDS spec. 10-13 had Protect Melee on and panicked in it. Another DDS spec on Protect Melee, a whip on Protect Melee. Fakies the bolt, goes for the Major, and does it hit? It does not. It does a four blood baraga. He fakies the whip, fakies the mage, and then just goes for the range attack. Sadly, can't catch a freezer. And Panic is actually bringing this fight to him. He's, he's hitting 30s. He, uh, 19th on Protect Mage. It looks like Panic might have this one in the bag. Um, it looks like he's been doing a lot of damage lately. 18 whip by Mr. 1013. A Baraga, an 18 Baraga by Mr. Panic. A 26 whip by Mr. 13 there. And a bolt on Mystique, but sadly, it does not hit. A DDS, a 0 0 on Protect Mage. A bolt on Mystique and it does not hit for Mr. 13. Does he cast a Baraga? And Panic did not use overheads on that. And Mr. 13 got a free Baraga. And it was a 26 as well. A 10 Blood Baraga. A Whipper. A Whipper. The bolt is trying to get freezes out here. A nice bolt on Protect the Mage there. Great move by Mr. 13 to utilize that. And uh, that, that worked out great for him. And a 25 whip on Mr. 13 there. A 15 Baraga on Mr. 13 there. A 14 Baraga on Mr. 13. Panic hitting with the whip there. Another whip on Panic's Mystique there and hit a 0. But a Baraga does make him freeze and hits 11. Fakies the crossbow and goes for a 16 whip. 
Fake is goes for the mage and does it hit? It does not. He's going for the bolt and it does hit a zero right there. Will 1013 end panic right here right now, or will panic win this round and make it 2-1? A 14 bolt to panic 07. A zero whip, but a zero bolt as well on Mr. Panic. A zero whip on Protect Mage. Unlucky for Mr. Panic. A bolt on Protect Mage does a hit, it does not. A 21 whip that does hit. A Baraga. A DDS on Protect Mage, but that does not hit. A bolt on Mystique does a hit, it does. A 28 bolt on Protect Melee, it does. Looks like just 1013 is catching them off prayer most of the time. And Panic just hit him twice off prayer, but it did not just hit, and that's that's just RNG for you. A bolt on Protect Mage and it does not hit. It does hit. Three. A zero on three. A 35 whip on Protect Mage. He catches a freeze here and he DDs right under him. He hits a six Blood Baraga. A zero whip on Protect Melee. A nine. Is it going to be ended right here, right now? 10-13 will be the championship of the first king of an H tournament. Will he be the winner? Is he going to end it now? A 39 bolt to finish him off, and that is the end of the King and H tournament. 1013 has taken it home. Congratulations. I would like to speak to both of these individuals. Benick, how do you feel that you, how do you feel, honestly? Like, cool. did like, you feel like you did well and he was just. Yeah, uh, I mean, I did, did the best yeah, I can. Yeah. Coach 1013 won today, so is what it is. The better man won. He's the best Brit in the world by far. <laughs> Like no one comes close, and I'm happy the second place. Yeah, period. like uh, I'm happy. Uh, you did very well, man. Honestly, you. in all uh, in all honesty, you surprised me. You did very, very well. Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, even the first fight against you, 10:13, I thought you were gonna win set, but redemption clutched, I guess. Um, but yo, 10:13, how do you feel about Panic's performance, and how how do you feel about winning five bill? I mean, the win, you know, it's business as usual, but with Panic. <laughs> oh shit! With, now Panic started charming okay. like a few months ago, you know. And he became like one of the best like yeah. super quickly. It's actually like, impressive. He did well. Like it could have gone either way, honestly. Ah. Uh, no. Okay. Um. So. Well. I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, we're both winners. Ten thirteen is the best, and yeah. Like that for, no, for right, us, well, it went uh, legit. It's both in ten thirteen and I. It went as perfectly as it could have gone. Like it couldn't have gone any better. So we're happy. No, but uh, in all honesty. You did, you did freaking, you did hella well, Panic. I'm thank not even you. gonna lie to you. Like, well, well, you yeah, thank you, well. thank you, legit. Thank you so much for hosting the tourney. Like, this was probably the best tourney I've done. Um, I've only done a few anyway, because I'm, you have only been trying to bring for like five months, four months. But I'm glad, I'm yeah. glad that I could show off that I'm actually. Not that yeah, much I'll, I'll be doing wait. But. No, I mean, like, uh, I'll probably be doing a lot more of these because I feel like this event actually turned out very well. Yeah, for sure. Um, and um. Yeah, I mean, if, if, like people like you guys is what makes the tournament good because you guys are like, you know, high level of natures. And uh, no, I appreciate you like coming in, you, 13, many others coming to the tournament. It, it was fun. But yeah, I mean, yo, congratulations on second place. I believe the prize for second is like, what, 800 mil or something? One bill. Is One it? bill? Yo, One I want to cut you off real quick, yeah. Oda, yeah, yeah, tell yeah. everyone to go check out the new video on Salt Tag on the Frontline official channel. It's a banger. <laughs> All right, say, say what you want, 13. Anyways, and check out the Twitter and the right, YouTube, 1013 to God. That's all I gotta say. All right. But yeah, Panic, you did very well. Um, congratulations on getting second place, 1013. Congratulations on getting first place. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's about it.